All right, we're good? Yes. We One second. My thing's not working. What thing? You got me now? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I need my plug in there. All right, we're good? We're up? Yep. Yes. All right, good morning, everyone. What's, see, you guys smell something or no? Donuts? Mm-hmm. It's not donuts. I don't think it's donuts. Ass? We smell it. Were you doing drugs or something? It might be in my backpack, yeah. What, what would it be? <laughs> Probably weed. It would smell it? I don't think so. But oh, they smell it if it's not. Let me smell it. I smoked this morning. Like, I don't you, here? No, not in here, outside. Like, <laughs> you did? Like oh, in yeah. downtown Boston. Am I right? Oh, yeah, it smells like weed. What are you doing? Uh, I, had a, I have an easy day. My bag's all the way over in there, the other room. You're like, just uh, fucked up now? No, I'm not fucked up. It's my. That's not what I hear. <laughs> fucking no. Open the window. Open one of these windows. I can deal with this shit. Throw the bag out. Shut up. Oh, 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 oh. Don't do me to give you open the window in there, dummy. Let me open this one. Fucking retard. I thought it was cold. Take, take the jacket. There it goes. What good would it do me if you open the window in there? <laughs> We're up to a hard start here. Shut up, Mick. Jesus. Watch this. This is. Watch a monkey fuck a football here. <laughs> I also was on the bus this morning, too. So Wait, Shut up, Gus. You're annoying me. The okay. windows don't open? I don't, I got it. It's just a plain block. Are you capable of doing anything? It's a plain block, though. T- tell me that those are plain. I mean, unless you just... Yeah, no, I don't care. I don't think you want to. Justin, this is on you. I just opened it. Gus just saved the day again. Oh, it's oh sorry. It's a slide on the side. Did you, well, did we, so you should have figured it out. <laughs> the fresh air cut. It's a nice day anyway, right? Right? Uh, it's beautiful. Out. You don't care, right, Mick? It's a nice day out. Beautiful day out. I want the, this place fumigated after the show. Jesus. Yeah, that's bad. What are you doing? You have some pride. You're a grown man. No, I'm going up to see some friends after. So I'm on the bus. I'm on the bus today. What's to do with the drugs? <laughs> what are you drugs at nine and eight in the morning. What are you Why? doing? It keeps me calm. Happy pills. I'm getting off my Zoloft. I'm getting on. Why? Because I pre- I prefer the feeling and the the less brain stuff going on with the weed than the Zola. So you have less brain. Why are you all dressed up? Uh, I had a performance review today. Where? Uh, in Boston. You after this? No, earlier. You did? Mm-hmm. What time? Uh, like eight. For what? Just quick coffee with my boss. She's uh. You're not wearing socks? Area. No, she actually commented on that too. Why don't, don't you wear, wear socks? I don't wear dress shoes. Or socks, or dress shoes. You don't? Oh, okay. oh, they're comfy too. They're nice. They're. They got that built-in padded. It doesn't stink. Like oh, it's, maybe it's maybe it's that. I don't know. It didn't go well. So it didn't go well. I, what I, happened? Well, I was just like looking for more responsibility. That was kind of my big thing. <laughs> the story I was like, of your life. Another yeah. failed meeting. Yeah, exactly. And she uh, she just was. Yeah, it sounds like overstepping, basically. You know, really? Kind of, yeah, kind of. And I, I want to ask you, like, how do you how do you do that for a company? How do you get somebody to trust you more without overstepping? Because this idiot went to Milton's and you know got the advertising, was walking, on the, and you like that sort of thing. You're so, Milton's now, right? Yeah, I am. Yes. Uh, what is your question, Mick? I'm sorry. How do you get a company? How, how do you have an employer take you more serious without overstepping? Hmm. It's, if you're, well, I, like I, I, it sounds to me now again. No, it's, I hate that even worse. A fucking cab, Justin. <laughs> uh, I, I, I. Now I only know your side of the story. Yeah. So probably you've done something crazy to this person. I'm going no, they, to guess. I got a good reputation there. They sure. like me. No question. No. So I uh, put the phone down, guys. What are you no, doing? What retweeting. Are you? I'm retweeting the link. Oh, good. Thanks. Thank you. That'll be very helpful. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, all those new fo- all those followers you have, <laughs> don't follow me in the show. Exactly. <laughs> so, um, I mean, so you're, you're doing all your work. Yes. What, 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 what is your, so this is the thing where you, what do you do? Yeah, so you partner with like upcoming creators, Slubs like myself with a podcast, right? They try to monetize it. They try to sure. find guests, stuff like that. And okay. So like, I've been working with an author who's writing an audiobook and doing a lot of her editing, adding in sound effects to her stuff. So essentially, like, I I want to take a bigger role. I want to be like, mm-hmm. I you know, I want to do this stuff. I want to you know so, delegate. So here's the th- here's the thing about here's the thing about you though. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is this should be good. Well, can can I just say it? <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> How many this should be good? Uh, like, I mean, episode, so I'm like, guessing that Mick made the pitch, and there's a woman or a man? A woman. I'm sure she was perfectly reasonable, and you saw some slight in there that didn't exist. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. What was said? 
Uh, well, I. So what you, what, you want more money? You want a, a, a I just dis- want more responsibility because right now it's I'm in like a freelance position where you want a full time job there. Full time job and like I I would take a full time job, but I'd also want more at the company. Like I think I can do more. For okay. Me, so. Okay. So how did you say it like that? Yeah, I said that, and I said if you go through the people that I've worked with in the past, you know, no, no, nothing crazy has came out of it. I haven't made any clients famous or anything like that, but. They all liked me and everybody said good things. So okay. I feel like every single time I work with somebody. What did she did, exactly say that you took as this, that you were over, that you were overstepping? Well, like when I said, I was like, I feel like I could work with them and help them create their ideas. She's like, well, that's not, that's not your role. Oh, is that what she said? Lick kind of. my twat. Kind of. <laughs> Just was like, that's not really. What kind of. What do you mean? Kind of. See, this is what I'm saying. Basically, she, this is, this is you. This she is was you being nice saying you're a button pusher. You should just worry about, worry about the editing. Right. That, that, kind of like when I tell you to learn a trade. There it is. Like, do you think maybe that there's a, a, an underlying a theme, theme here? here. Yeah, 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 maybe you should yeah. maybe learn a trade. Yeah, yeah. So what did, you, what did you say to her? Did you say calm? I tucked my tail. I said, yeah, okay. Oh, you did? Yeah. All right. Yep. So you don't like her? I like her because she gave me a chance and didn't have to give me the chance then. But, you know, and we've worked well together for the last three and a half years since I've been working under her. But so your question now is how do, how do then work with this person and find a way to get to what you want to do? That was today's conversation, really. I mean, I, I guess that's... What do you think, Justin? You're a man who's, a con- you're a man who's managed people. Uh, I kind of missed the first part of this when I was running around trying sure. to do the... Uh, but mix, so- mix manager um, gaslit him. If you were trying to... I it, think. It, three years from now, Justin, if you had a bigger responsibility here with the show and you wanted to, uh, I guess, be accommodated for it, you wanted to get paid for it, how would you go about it? Uh... Ask Kirk, and if he says no, then be like, okay, well, if I if it's like a financial thing, then I'm going to look in other places. No big deal. But that's I the think thing, Mick. You got to have that key word. What's yeah. the word? I don't know. Leverage. 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 Uh, you got to have that I don't leverage. Have a lot, I don't have a lot of that. You're not a man with a lot of leverage. <laughs> lot of you got to say whatever this woman's name is, Wendy. Like I am going to, I'm going somewhere else. Like I appreciate that. I appreciate, but this this opportunity here is giving me what I want. Yeah, I so think she a, knows that. She she would open the door and say, "Have a good day." Well, then, but yeah. then you know your value, right? Like easy, like you know. That's to me. I guess easy my, I feel undervalued. That's probably the thing. As I, I feel that's like the I story do. of your life, though. That should be like a your pick your face, and then yeah, I but, feel like I'm undervalued. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you know, I'm not saying it. I understand it. I like I like that you have that desire, but you have to. Is there leverage for you in that field somewhere else? I think there is, uh, and that, that's kind of what I've been telling her. Like I, I think if you ask the people that I've worked with, they that's always, not leverage, that's not, Mick. No. Mick, that's not leverage. <laughs> well, that's not, I, I guess that's not. I, I feel like I had this conversation years ago with Mike Manansky. <laughs> Who what, sat in that what would be leverage yesterday. in that situation then? Like what? Do you I know? Do what, no, I, feel, I feel like I'm in the toilet. Do you I mean, know what anybody, leverage is? Anybody can edit though. Can I, I feel like I leverage would be like creativity. Shut up. Or what I can offer Gus, that Gus, nobody else can. You're, you're like, why don't you take a nap? You're no, fucking I'm out of good. It. I'm good. Re- I'm what hit? I can. I know this guy. This guy. The audio with this guy was better than with these fucking guys. One second, Gus. Let me. Do you know? Define. I can't. I'm telling you, this is toilet time. I did this at the EI once. Define leverage. When you have an advantage over somebody. Okay. Yeah. She understands. Okay. Okay. I literally didn't know. So. He didn't know what the word leverage. He did not know. He just kept saying it's when you have leverage over someone. Yeah, he's like you have leverage. <laughs> um, okay, so then you have to find another job where you have that, and you can go to her and say, "Hey, this job is here, but I'd rather stay here because I like it here. I like these people, but I want a little more responsibility. I'm even willing to take maybe a little less money, but yeah. I want that responsibility. All right. You got to go find that. All right." Is it out there? Can I use this place? Can I tell? Like, obviously, it's not there. But can I? Can I say like, "Hey, I got another <laughs> okay. job. I got another sure. job." Sure. Right, yes. I'll parlay it. I mean, <laughs> that's gonna bite you in the ass in a month. <laughs> so bad. me? Yeah. Why am I gonna? You told me. You told me I had a job. <laughs> yeah. You told me I had a job. Very, very clear. I quit Wendy. <laughs> very clear. Pre- you're using me as pretend leverage. Yeah. Right. Pretend leverage. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yes. What's your advice, guys? You're a man who's there's, accomplished so many things. I know, him. but and, there's and, this amazing website called Indeed.com. <laughs> Put mm-hmm. your search for the jobs, get an actual offer from someone where they say, hey, we'll pay you 50000 to do this, 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 and this. Yep. And then you can go back to Wendy saying, hey, I would really like to stay here, but I have this offer. If you didn't wear socks in the meeting, I would, looking at you, I would not give really? you more responsibility. It would annoy me. But I'm different than Wendy. I would be I like, know. I She's am pretty not. particular like this. That's the, oh, she is. She notices stuff. And that was like one of the first things she was like, are you wearing socks? No, maybe you should wear socks. I was like, I, was like, I, mean, I almost made fun uh, of her, but she's kind of styly too. So like, uh, I thought. I what, thought mean, she, what do you mean? As, oh, as Brooklyn girl. two as well, me yeah. as well as oh, yeah, you. Yeah, right. of course. I got you. I understand. Sure, I understand. Okay. Uh, hmm. So, so right now it's a part time job. Hourly? I uh, it's 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 not part time. I don't have certain hours. It's freelance. So some weeks I've done. Oh, okay. More full time. Some weeks yeah. it's twenty hours. You know, it's free, okay. Whenever she needs it. Hmm. And that's why I know she likes it because she's like, I can just pretty much tell this kid do this and he'll do it. Okay. I, I, okay. Is it just I, you again? Or? Again, you, you're saying that. It, it, I'm one of like three or four people she has, but one of the main people, yes. Do you talk to these other people? No. 
Oh, you don't? No. Do they work more than you? Make more than you? I don't know. I don't know that. Yeah, oh, that, I would think that would bother you. No, you said that's not good to do. You should, you should worry about I other people. I didn't say that. that yeah, right, but it's still, you still might do it even though it's not good to right, do. But I'm trying to learn here. I don't think it's good to count other people's pockets and worry about what they were. Look at you. You're really, you're really maturing. That's right. <laughs> what do you think, Coleman? I mean, it, the first thing that came to my head is like, did he actually have a job interview though? Like he knew Gus was going to be in here today. Showing I didn't know up Gus was going to be here. No, next he to Gus, Gus comes in a little high. You know, right. it, it Gus makes... looks good though. He's got some Hilton's on. Yeah, no, it looks good. <laughs> Hat on back. Yeah. Just I need it though. The hair is a mess. weed. What? I have a haircut end of the week. End of the week. End of the week. Okay. Was that, is that you're pointing to Friday? Yeah, I point okay. to Friday. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Okay. What? Well, so what is going? Are you guys getting along okay or no? Your issues with calling. More, yeah, more. I saw you right. tweeted that you were going to do Beyond Average podcast. How was that episode? I didn't, I didn't end up recording it. What happened? I, I'm stunned to hear this. I don't know how mad I should be about this sort of thing because I, I almost went full scorched earth. On but why don't you do the podcast? This is Mick. This is Mick one on one right here. I'm so, going to do a podcast. Right, my right, guys. One hundred percent. Right. Guess quite. Down. He's not wrong though. What? The minute you tweeted out, I looked at it. I said, "Well, okay, there's not going to be a podcast." You want to know why I this. didn't do the podcast? I was going to come on here and talk about it, and I figured I, you wouldn't want that. Okay. You okay. Just yell at Andy Mayo for doing something outside of the show. I'm going to bring it to the show. Which you agree with. Yes. Yeah, well, well, but no, but if you, this is where it's wrong though. If you were in studio before that, had those feelings into the podcast after, I'd be pissed off. Yeah. But that, that's, but I've said to you, you're, you have your podcast. You don't, you can, I, you can do your podcast. I, may, I asked these guys. I, I, cause I was Who cares what they think. I want to know. Idiots. I want to know what they said. Okay. Just, what is your, what is your issue? What, what happened with Colin in yesterday, Justin? Did I miss something? He said that everything was fine with Mick. Yeah, he didn't have a problem, did he? He, this is the, my issue. I have two issues with Dave. Okay. I have an issue with his attitude towards me. And the way he said that, especially with the, the Portnoy thing, where he was like, oh, Portnoy says his name, and all of a sudden he's trying to go viral on this. And I want to say, like, who the fuck is Dave? Like, what? what? I Portnoy or Cullinan? Cullinan, yeah. Cullinan. Yeah, who, who, like, what? Are you just going to shit on anybody who's trying to do anything? Sure. Like, this he's is the, the guy Rubik's who quit, Cube challenge. He's the guy who quit the job and had it here, and you know, blew this whole opportunity. Yep. Like, why? Definitely, do, definitely quit the job. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, well, yeah. You know what I mean. I understand. So, didn't fight for the job. Yeah. So, oh, that's your issue? You going to do an episode on that? No. And... Scorched Earth? How about hearing Scorched so, Earth? So yesterday there was talk of the Mutt and Cullinan show. Yes. Mm -hmm. I can announce that that is going to happen. Okay. Oh. Yes, that's I, a go. I, that, I, is, that is that, officially a go. On the network separate? Uh, no, no. no. Uh, I mean, they may do some stuff on the network. We'll promote it here, I guess. I, I don't know. It's up to Mutt. But that is going to be on Mutt Stack to some extent. Wow. And then also, I think, available everywhere, I guess. TikTok. <laughs> TikTok. Probably TikTok as well, yeah. <laughs> Does that bother you, Mick? No, but Dave originally... <laughs> Why would that... What do you care? Dave originally asked me if I was off the record, said, would you be interested in producing that show? The Mutt and Cullen Age. Yes. Why can't Dave just produce it? I don't know. Okay. Dave, so, I will produce it. So what? I, I'll produce it. For <clears throat> Gosh, you're so fucked up right now. No, I'm not. Does he look so fucked up? His eyes are I'm little... relaxed. I'm relaxed. You look so Relax. fucked up. I'm fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> you look totally I, fucking destroyed right I may right look now. it, but I'm... Okay, okay good. <laughs> when, when was the last time you smoked? I this morning, This morning. Like around eight, it's nine fifty. <laughs> but I didn't smoke a lot. I have a pen and outside I hit the of the studio. No, like outside in downtown. Um, where is it? Central Square. Kirk, before I came in here, I took a couple shooters. <laughs> no, <laughs> like no, seven thirty. No, but so what I is, I have a pen. I take a little bit. Like the, okay. what you're smelling is the good stuff for later. It smells great. It's, I'm so happy you brought this <laughs> in the stuff. studio. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I just think that he. What do you? Him, well, I don't understand. So we asked you to produce it. What's wrong with that? And then I never heard back from him. Never heard back from him, which Who is Who would want to produce that show? It's going to stink. That to me is okay. Like, I, I don't expect Dave to say, hey, I, I, I don't, I'm not owed that at all. I'm not, I don't anticipate that. that. Is correct, Mick. You're right. I, I understand yeah. that. Uh -huh. I am more mad at the attitude that Dave showed yesterday where he said, like, you're just, you're trying to get noticed or something like that. Or it, it was like you a poo-poo thing. though. What's wrong what is, with that? What, it's, it's nothing wrong with it. He's just pointing it out. He's yeah, just he was pointing, pointing it out. Trying he, to. No, no, he was pointing it out like you, you think everything is such no, a he, slight. Everything he, you is such. It's very funny. He, he, no, he, he's he, not sensitive. He he said it what, like. So the producer thing has nothing. He said to do. it like. Why you, did you mention the producer thing? What's that to do with anything? Because that to me is a, 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 a part of it too. Is I saw an interesting retweet from an Eminem boy last night. Right when that poll went up, should the Cullinane in Mutt show should this happen? And first, first, first person retweeted was Mike Montante. Who cares? Which makes me think potentially <laughs> Montante is a producer of the show. You are <laughs> fucking. You are a madman. I, I, I swear to God, I'm I have. There's no God. doubt in my mind you did not meet with anybody this morning. No, no, I'm sure you think you did. <laughs> I, I'm sure you think you did, but there's. Then you're like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm not wearing socks, but you're pretty much a fashionista too. And there's a fucking empty fucking chair next to you. <laughs> Just talking to the wall. Just talk, literally talking to the wall. There's no girlfriend. There's no cake. There's no nothing. There's no Christian. Nothing. All, all <laughs> I'm. I am. More, 
Why would they ever hire Mike Mont? Mike, he can't push a fucking button. I just thought it was an interesting retweet right away. Right, Why? First thing that I see. What first, you, I don't know. It, it what struck does that do you way. be mad at Colony? I told you, I'm more mad at Colony for him for the. What does the mix show. thing have to do with? Uh, the, I mean, the Montante thing have to do with anything? Because it just it shows that Colony is a true snake to me. Is He's that, a is Colony. Yeah, a but snake. you don't know that. But you don't know the Montante. Montante is not going to produce. I do know that. I think I do know that. You, you I have think, information I think, on this? I think if you ask Montante right now, has Dave asked him to produce that show? He would say yes. I don't know that, but I think I, I would I would put a good substantial amount of money I would be stunned if Colin Ain. Why would Montante, why couldn't Dave just produce it? Why would he ask me? Also like, because you have been how to produce stuff. Montante doesn't want to do anything. Yeah, but like that, that's, so that's kind of my point. Like, I don't think it was really for production role. I think it was for more of like the add to the show. A content thing? Yeah. Because I mean, Montante also is in New Jersey. I'm right. assuming you would be able to do this in person. Sure. Yeah. But, it, but it, it, I don't think anybody would have to do it in person. Like, I don't think Mutt and Colony are gonna. This was all, this wasn't like I'm doing this for Dave. It was more of that Dave would bring it up to me and then never say it again and then say, what, what's that? Nothing. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on there? You might not be all wrong. You oh. might not be all wrong. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Can I get some dots here? You might not be on. Yeah. Watch the wine. Trust me. I, you... Squirrel finds a nut. Yeah. Broken clock is My right. My takes age pretty well here. Oh, who's oh, calling? It's the one and only Dave calling in. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Hello. Hello. Hey. Yes. Uh, I just what got a... Uh, hold on. I just got a text, so... Get a job, Dave. Shut being. up. <laughs> Go ahead, Dave. Go ahead. Wait. Is, it, is he saying that that mutt poll, like the mutt we pulled that Mike Montante will get hired to produce a show that's never going to fucking happen? Well, I don't know about that, but okay. Well, I mean, if you're going to lie to Mick, that's fine. But let's say it does happen, okay? <laughs> let's play it out and say it does happen. Yeah. It is very interesting to all of us that Mike Montante retweeted that. That must mean Montante is going to produce the mm -hmm. podcast, Montante, right? No, Montante just like likes – well, one, he likes me. He calls me seven times a day, so I think he just <laughs> liked the idea of it. Okay. What are you looking That's at? It. I have oh, Mick, else Mick, to offer. Oh, hold on, Mick has information. He's looking at his phone. Dave, you said I've gone back and forth on pitching him, me, you, and Mutt, still off the record. Oh, I've talked. I would love to do a show. Like I like you. I like doing shows. But it's never going to happen. So I would love to do it. But like Mike Montante would have nothing to do with that. Okay. Well, then why why would you laugh at the idea of me trying to get noticed or even you know putting Ooh. out good content? Content. Try getting out this one. Try getting out this one. Everything as some kind of fucking flight. You really do. You're, you're, it's a dumb. Stupid jab because you think you can handle it because you shit talk everybody. That is true. Yeah, Dave, 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 you saying you saying that like yeah, you basically are saying oh I wouldn't be good enough to do something like that. That to me is shit talking me. Well, that is shit talking you. Yes, he's, so then he's breaking your balls. Wait, it's a podcast. Wait, 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 wait. What did I say you wouldn't be good to do, man? You, what did I say you wouldn't be good at, at doing? You, you, you said that I was trying to get noticed or I was uh, hand waving, right? Because you were. You were doing a fucking life. Yes, what's wrong with you, Dave? You what the hell's wrong with you? you? Who's watching that? Who's watching that? <laughs> you, you said what was it. the purpose of it, right? Exactly. You're doing it for minifans to notice you. Well, that's, that's true, Mick. Yeah. That was my question, and I was no, no. You, you. Were, you, you were mocking it. You weren't. You weren't questioning it. You were mocking. Well, Mick, it was a. It was. It was. A, Mick, it was what a, do you mock? Do you mock anything ever? <laughs> I thought we could shit talk a guy like you who shit talks everybody. Sounds like Michael everybody, gets worked up. Fucking idiot! <laughs> Why are you so goddamn fucking sensitive? I, I agree. One of us sounds sensitive here. It's My not sensitive at all, though. I, 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 I hold on with that. But like, I mean, it is it, like it's it was fun, funny, but I mean, it is stupid. You were doing a Rubik's cube challenge, like. Yeah, not, I didn't say it was. We're supposed to take it seriously? Like, no, we're supposed to have a, no. Uh, do like papers on it? If Dave, if Dave said I was a fucking idiot and I'm terrible, you are a fucking idiot. I would have no problem with it. It was the fact, it's that type of thing where it's like, oh, you're, thing? Just, you're not good enough to the be in this world. Like, don't, that sort of thing. Counseling. Fuck you, you Dave. That's, that's what I think. Against you. <laughs> Nobody is fucking against <laughs> you but your fucking <laughs> self. Go see some goddamn Dave. counselor and figure it the fuck out because you blame everybody for doing nothing. I was shit talking you because I like you, you fucking idiot. No, no, Dave. That wasn't. What are you so mad about Dave? What the hell's wrong with you? He's just an idiot. He starts shit. It's he's mad like, because he wants back in. He left it's and he wants joke. back in. And I told he you from the very beginning. beginning. He's part of the show. He his tail. He came right back. Yesterday. I was in yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? I've never heard you this he's mad ever. Annoying. He's a good guy and he's good at what he does, but he takes everything as a personal place. Yep. He's a fucking moron. I've yeah. never no heard you this mad in my life. All right, Dave. What is wrong with the guy? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, during the producer's search. I'm a Montante guy right on stage. I don't oh, forget it, dude. Oh, I don't forget it. Everybody in the world I don't forget it. Everybody in the world hated you up until that producer search. Yeah, and then you faked hated like you. me. I get it. Then you I faked like, like me. I got a text. I just I got I got a tweet. 
That Montante retweet, you were not kidding, was within 30 seconds of that tweet. Start listening, people. Start listening. Dave, within 30 seconds. 30 seconds. (laughs) I guess he would love that show. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, anything else uh, make you want to say? No, no, no. no, no, You sure? Dave, anything? Are you okay? No, I got nothing else. Nothing. All right. 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 Good night. Jesus. I've never heard him that mad ever. I've never heard him. Maybe that Michael uh, Maserati thing. (laughs) What was that about? Um, It was Montante saying that... Like he was defending Montante. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe the the real estate podcast. Kind of, but, but, but he was also, actually he was actually mad there though. That was like a real scream. Yes, because he, he like, knows I'm, I'm right there. He knows what he knows what about he said. What? I don't, even I don't know what the I hell's going on. He, what's, going what, what's, what was that argument about? Dave He's, Dave was laughing at the fact that I was trying to get a job somewhere and thinking that I could get a job in a content role. That to me with was, Barstool, with, yeah, sure, yeah, with anybody, with this, with anybody, with anybody. But you think, I mean, I don't, I'm not saying this. I know you're. Like, you're going to tell me I'm terrible. I know. No, 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 no. We know that. But I'm saying I like you. I think you do a good job here. But like when Portnoy said, "Oh, that guy," like, he just forgets about hundred percent. You understand that? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, as long as you understand. But when I'm, you look at me with those eyes, I don't believe you. Why would you not? I, because I, you look. Like I don't a think man. Dave Portnoy even knows who I am. I don't think I, any, nothing to do with that. Well, because no. the next day you came in, you're like, "Oh, can I email him?" And he's like, "Yeah, go email him." So did, did you I email him? I didn't email him. I messaged Big Cat. Did he message you back? Nope. Crickets. <sighs> wow. Yep. <laughs> really? Yep. What was the message? Do you have it? You, you know it. I figured you already got it. <laughs> he does this all the time. I love Nick. <laughs> I, 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 fucking I, man. I, I I already know you. Have Nick's it, so. back. I will say Mick's that. He's Nick. I don't know what happened at the hospital a couple weeks ago. He's back. I can. Swear on the life of my children, who okay. mean more to me than anything, that I did not get the message. What, what, what was it? Uh, it was just like a... You have it. What is it? I don't want to read the whole thing, but... Well, what what little, is it, a fucking book? It's a little wordy. You could call... You could... If Dan calls in right now, he, I could I, guarantee... I think he's read it. I, that's what I'm going I'm with. sure he's read it. I haven't seen it. I'm gonna, I, I imagine he's busy. Do you, uh, think, do you think I wouldn't read it on the air if I had it? I don't know. I don't or wouldn't know. I? I thought maybe you were going to do it today. You're the one why. with the uh, Shattuck and, and Clumber. I would read it. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I just said I wanted to work in the industry. That's definitely not to, what it's... I don't want to read it verbatim. It's, it's please read it. <sighs> Will you bury us in it or something? No, no. Okay. I'll skip How the long first is it, part. It's, it's why are you, skip, long. Why are you long. skipping the first part? Because it's just like introductions. I'm, I want to hear it. I have source. I'm working on All right, So I said, I want to work in the industry. I don't care if it's a production well, how role. How did you... How did you hold on. That's not how you started it. I said... Start at the beginning, please. Probably, okay. You read the whole thing. Big Cat, you probably do not know who I am. Big Cat... I'll start by saying... Big Cat, comma? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Big Cat, comma... Uh, space. Not like, Dan. No, I don't oh. know him like that. Okay. Yeah. What do you call him, uh, Justin? I call him Mr. Katz. You do? No, I call him Big Cat. <laughs> okay. What do you call him, Gus? Big Cat. I call him Dan. He's a friend of mine. Go you ahead. probably don't know me, so I'll start by saying I'm a massive fan and have been following you since I was 15. It's going to say out loud, people like yourself, Kirk and Dave, have always inspired me to do- start doing this sort of thing. Here's the deal. I want to work in this industry. I don't care if it's in a production role or a content role, and I don't care what city has to be in. I'll go wherever it's needed. I just believe I can add value in either role, and I'm willing to do both. Uh, hold on. <clears throat> Regardless, I message Kirk. Or, skipped one. I think that's because of how passionate I am. I really am. Blah blah blah. Hold on. Blah blah blah. You didn't type blah 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 blah. No, blah, I don't. Blah, want, you didn't type blah blah. What, what, are you, what, are you, what are you embarrassed about? Nothing embarrassed. It's just. All right, go ahead. It's just wordy. Uh, I messaged Kirk after he fired Colin in. Got the whole producer search going. Obviously, I was hoping to win that, but that didn't go in my favor. So I'll be honest. If it were up to me, I would be producing Kirk's show or working there. However, that doesn't seem to be an option right now. So I find myself unconfused on what to do next. Rather than beglessly hope for hopelessly beg you for a job, I figured I should ask for your advice on what to do next. That's it. Yeah. That's how you ended it. Yeah. That's how it's. That's the last thing you said. The last word is next. Uh, turn this into something. What I should do next and turn this into something. Gotcha. How? Yeah, and turn this into something. The last word is something. When <laughs> uh, when was the sent? Uh, Friday night. Just this past Friday night. Yeah. Oh, okay. You didn't respond. No. Oh. Hmm. Not mad about that either. That's, that's go, go, go. <laughs> you sound <laughs> totally I don't fine. Give a fuck. Yeah. I mean, you should. I mean, mm, okay. It's not sensitive. No. No. I would. Say, I mean, I, I have no problem with somebody shooting their shot. You might as well try. Yeah. I, I mean, no I, problem with that. I just figured that would be the person. Gus, turn that off, dummy. What's that? I, know, I figured that there's no chance Dave has even a clue who I am. Dan. Yeah, no, listen, Gus. Yeah, uh, uh, Dan. I'm sorry. Dan knows who you are. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'm yeah. just from the show. Hmm. What do you think, Justin? Think he's gonna hire him? Uh, no. no, but I, I have no problem with it. No, re- you gotta out. try. Yeah, yeah. I mean, do your thing. Yeah. yeah, I thought you definitely got that message. That was I thought I was walking in here. That's how unimportant it was. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I didn't that even hurts. get it. Uh, Big Cat did not know he received a message. Oh, how do you know that? Uh, because I reached out to Big Cat. Wait, oh, right now? Yes. What did you, what'd you say? 
So do you by any chance have the message beyond <laughs> Evan Mick sent you on Twitter? And he said, shit, I missed that he sent me anything. Let me <laughs> on look. Twitter or email? Oh, Twitter. Twitter. Oh, right. gotcha. Okay. There you go. Well, he gets many messages, I'm sure. Yeah. I would yeah, no, imagine. Yeah, so, I mean, really. Think of how many I get, and he's got 50 times, so I'm, I'm sure he gets and a ton I'm sure of a ton of people are begging him for jobs. I, I didn't want to be yes. like, hire me. I would just, I don't well, know, what, what, what should I do? Well, it's kind of what you said, though. Without it. Yeah, I understand that, though. You're, you're trying. I never knock somebody for trying. It's always been Gus's attitude. The guy's exactly. a hustler. Did you get that job or no? Yeah. You did. That's where I'm going to hang out after. With Those are you going to hang out with friends. Yeah. I have friends. They're part of it. They're, my friends are part of the thing. What, what world being, have I built? It's amazing. Scams, Look at these Gus. people I'm in the room with. These four people. <laughs> what have I done? What the hell have I done? I always say, just keep your head down and just say, yeah, it's great. It's actually going to be good this year. Collect your fucking check and go home. What do you mean? For, I, you got so the job. I got the job. Congratulations. I am making some nice change. March 30th. I'm not making a nice 30th. change March 30th. Sorry. No, I'm, I'm making a nice salary. You start March 30th. March 20th, I meant. March 30th, I believe, is the show in Portland. Yes. March yes, 30th is the show in Portland. 20th mm -hmm. is going to be the first game in with Gus stream. And it's gonna be, <laughs> wow. And, okay. I, and I'll be uh, cutting lawns. You'll be cutting lawns? Mm -hmm. For people? Virtually? or yeah. Virtually. Oh, okay. We're going to go do some lawn mowing simulator. From where? From my house and just. But I mean, where is that going to be broadcast? It's going to be on my on uh, Twitch. We're going to have a whole channel going from your up. account, not my account. We're having a gaming gaming with Gus account coming up. Who's we? Me. But where's that? <laughs> you're just starting a whole new Who's account. Paying no. you this? Are you paying? What you are you? This? What are you no. talking about? For, Why uh, am I? Four T Media is the one. Uh, uh, four T Media. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. So it's a media company. I met with them today. <laughs> <laughs> they should hire him. All right. So four T Media is the yeah. company you work for. Yes. You. You work for them. Yes. You signed paperwork. Yes. You filled out stuff. Yes. I've talked to HR. You have a job. Yes. Okay. Good. Congratulations. Great. So, okay. what I'm we're start doing is starting off basically on a stream thing. I'm doing like um, I'll be doing the games. We have uh, cross promotions with Rhode Island dispensaries and Massive dispensaries right now. Gotcha. Um, and then we're hoping to expand it sure. further as we go. But, so, um, but I'm, I'm going to have a gaming channel. Okay. And I'm also on the back end like helping copy edit ads. Uh, oh, edit great. any any radio ads, like just do the editing on that type ah, of thing. Well, that's exciting. Yeah. And okay. then luckily I have some connections with down in Rhode Island with the state's regulators down there that helping me get into like live events at dispensaries and Good. stuff. So when you say hanging out with friends today, what do you mean? I'm so gonna, the show ends and where are your the friends? The show ends. So my yeah. friends are up in Salem. Up so, Salem Mass? Or? Yep. Okay. So I'm going to go hop on the commuter rail north okay. and then I'm going to go to their house, relax for a little bit. And then we're going to go downtown Salem to uh, a lunch at, uh, what's the Derby? Or is it still called the Derby? I have no idea what you're talking. What about. are you fucking talking? About? I'm going. What's it do with your job? Because I'm meeting the like with my friends. We're going to them. Like my buddy Mark and I are going to meet with the people from the media company for like a late lunch. Mm, I'm a little in close. Salem. In Salem at the Derby. So who are you going to in Salem? Your friend's house. Yeah. And then you're meeting them in Salem for lunch after. Yes. I think I understand. What are you saying, Justin? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Have you gotten paid from these people yet? This isn't a scam no kind of thing? fucking no. I, I, chance uh, it, in the world. Now, now is it a? I, I love Gus. There's no chance he's gonna get money for this. No, I'm, None. I'm, I'm saying this as like a, as a, a Gus supporter. I love you, Gus. Yeah, we're all is Gus this, guys. Is here. this a salary? Like yes. no matter what happens, you are getting paid set amount, or yes. is it a? Oh, so if you get a certain number of viewers nope, who nope. click on so a link. I'm basically getting hired for the editing side. Of like the uh, radio ads, the copy editing stuff, like looking over at tweets, email blasts, and all that. That's what I'm getting hired for. That's where the salary comes in. They're looking to start the media side of things, and with my background, that makes sense. I, I am gonna start doing the stream, and then maybe tr if I come up with a gen a good enough idea, have some type of podcast related to marijuana. The answer is no. <laughs> Correct. Well, we were under the impression that they were paying you to stream the video. Or like no, yeah. no, 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 no. That makes so, so you have sense. a do you have a base salary? Yes, base salary. How much? Fifty. You have, they're paying you fifty thousand dollars for marketing. Yeah, it's just, it's a marketing job. Okay, that's good. Yeah, with a chance to make more. Yes. Well, that's good based on ideas, though. Yeah, I mean, which we know I'm not an ideas guy. Right. I'm a yeah. I'm a damn good soldier, but I'm not a good leader. Mm hmm. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this show is a good, okay. What, what's going on? What do you guys have? Yo, Mick, you must have other things. I'm sure you have your, you have um, your notes. You have your see. grievances. Uh, I guess the mayo stuff is something that really I uh, 
Are you with me on this or against I me? I am definitely with you. I think oh. that you oh, went maybe a little... I was, maybe I was wrong. A little <laughs> easy on... I think you went a little easy on Menners for his role. Easy on Menners. Okay, I'm, I'm willing to hear this. He had this the whole time. They knew about this and... Oh, I agree. Did. I messaged, I messaged Menners over the weekend. I was okay. like, what the fuck? And he's okay. like, oh, I didn't have it. And I'm like, well, all right. I mean, okay. I, you know, I, they, everyone's covering their own ass. It, it seems like it. Menners is becoming one of those guys I saw he's retweeting like sneakers. Like he's now fall... He's nice. going to become one of those guys. He's going to hate the show all of a sudden. And he'll be like retweets or not actual. Yeah, like, sneakers just hates the show. It's like a whatever. It's a spoof. It's a yeah, but like Manners can become one of those guys. He loses show after show after show, or just bailing on the network. Uh, I, yeah. I, I, right I mean, now, it sounds like, yeah, right? very much so. What's it, up? It sounds like John Scranton is taking the the brunt of it right now. Yeah, I mean, you should be in charge of the network, honestly, in my opinion. But hey, listen, they do their thing. I stay out of the way. But yeah, yeah. did you see that your buddy Ziggy Robinson had mentioned there's also potential beef between Chris Clemmer and Mike Montante? I did hear that. Did you know anything about fant- that? I did not <laughs> over fantasy baseball or something. Or I thought it was more than that. I thought it was. That that was the reason why they weren't playing. But oh, it sounds like. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I did. I don't know. It was because he said someone's got to do some digging on that, and I threw that right in the notes. What do you, you did you find anything? I out? know. I asked around, and I figured you'd be the person to know. I don't know. We can call. Let's call. Oh, it was, oh, Clemmer's in Chicago, right? Uh yeah, barely. He didn't get one yesterday. Could not get. That, that was a not, tough picture. How time. much was the weight? He, he was the star of the show, though. You yes. got to say that he was the he and KFC. What a performance by KFC in that sprint. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, what a loser. What uh. The, We'll call Clemmer and see. He, he may be flying back. He may be. This is not a two day thing, right? No, I, no, I, so. I think so. if you like advanced, I think PFT won. Yeah, PFT won. Yeah, right. I thought I saw uh, that. Yeah. Oh, they're doing something Friday with Mincy. Okay, I don't care about that. He's not in this pit yet, is he? When is that? Friday. I saw Clemmer tweet last night. He's like, he's just so opposite of me. He's like, I had a great day here. We had a great dinner with the guys. <laughs> I go to Chicago you with Jeff, which is depressing, or I eat by myself, which is even more depressing. Where's he? He's probably maybe flying or something. March 4th, he starts his. March 4th. Your call has been forwarded to voice. I don't know the answer to that. No. Um, no, I don't. I, don't. Did they, I didn't know they had a problem before. I didn't either. I was just very interested by it. I didn't know that there was a. I thought about actually reaching out saying, because I would like to get back into baseball. I don't pay attention. I was like, maybe I'll do that league. I'm but in then it. Then I don't want to. Well, okay. I, I don't really we'll want to. We'll split a team. I'll, I'll split a team with I'm you. fine, Mick. Thank you. All right. It's like these chats. I'm like, maybe I'll jump in one of them. And see, but like, nobody ever wants me to do anything. Yeah. Well, everybody's scared of you. What the hell am I going to do? It's a fancy baseball league. What am I going to do? Nah, I don't know. I, what I, the fuck am I going to do? It's it, fancy. I don't know. I don't know anything about, I know nothing about, I know as much as Coleman about today's Major League Baseball. Yeah, but you'd get into it. I would. But, be, but like, wouldn't people want that? Yeah. Not, what yeah. kind of league is it? Uh, head to head. I don't know. I just got into it last night. So oh, oh, you're one of the new guys. Yeah. There. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I did see that. I did see their beefing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My, my friends have done fantasy baseball leagues the past couple of years and just have left me out completely. Because you don't know the number Aaron Judge. Yeah, but I, I still want to play. You don't know anything. You don't know Al Horford's in the NBA. Super <laughs> yeah, you, but, but I do want to play fantasy baseball. Like it's kind of fucked who up. Who would you have with the first pick in the draft? Uh, I don't know, Tatis maybe. Okay, is that is that guy? I don't even know. What about the guy? Oh, he's hurt this he, year. Oh, right? he's Judge, only gonna I hit. Guess? Like, no, no, the guy. Otani's only gonna hit this year. Right, right, yeah, right, right, so right. I'd probably go Tatis. Justin, you said yesterday on the show that. The Nick o- is feeling it today. O- o- three, this was I, another another one of these things that just stuck out. The O three Patriots was your favorite run of the dynasty. What's wrong with that? Yeah, they're my nothing wrong with it. But he was six years old. Well, like so? go, going, it was it was the first team I watched. I would a good play point. Them, play them yeah, on that. That's a good point. Um, yeah, you don't remember that year. No, but I've, I've seen all the games. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm in the same boat. That's why. I, fucking, I, I, the eighty one Celtics when they won the title. I was six. I remember that very. It was my first real sports memory. So yeah, I, I'm okay with that. But you wouldn't say that's like your. Definitive sports memory. No, my favorite team is the 87 Celtics. Right. They didn't even win like, the title, but my favorite team, yeah. Would I say like the 14 Patriots? I would think so. That's why. Is that the Malcolm Butler team? Yeah, the yeah. team that won for is the first time. Is that the Baltimore after, one? Or? Yeah. Yeah, but the 03 was just such a dominant But they beat in the championship the game. In Seattle. No, no, no. The AFC oh, that was the... Uh, no, no, no. Colts. That was, yeah, it was no, Colts. No, no, no. Uh, 14. Colts. Oh, 14. Yeah, it was Colts. That was the deflate game. Oh, that was the game. Yep. So the Baltimore comeback. Oh, right, because that Baltimore was the game. Was the before. It's the last game I went to. I was at with my dad. It was that Baltimore game. It was like 70 degrees that we'll night. Go to, we'll go to one this year. I that was a, good, was a game that came back twice, right? Down 14, yes. Down 14, yeah. It was like super warm. It was bizarre. It was like yeah. 70 degrees. It was raining. And yeah, so right. Oh, right. The Colts game was freezing. Yeah, they dominated them. They dominated, yep. Mm-hmm. And then the, uh, right, the C, that was in Arizona. Were you on the air the next day on that Monday? After the Super Bowl? After, no, after Deflake, after the Colts game. Ah, we took it off. Of the no, but they were you. They were like, just, they were like, just I, blow it off. I just, I didn't know if you were on Johnny Jerry show. Were you doing your show? That, no, no, no. That was, 14? no, that was me, Johnny Jerry. We're in the middle of the fucking, yeah. yeah it was, we, we had Brady on that morning. Uh, and we joked about it because it was like a goofy, we're like, the, the yeah. play the balls. Like, what are you talking about? He right. joked around about it and then it became overnight. 
I think the first report was like Mike Lynch and then Mortensen had it. It became like the fucking biggest story in the world for like yeah. two weeks. It was crazy. I was a reporter. Had reporters asking Tom Brady if he was like a good man and stuff. <laughs> yeah. oh, I, I was at that press you conference. You were at that press conference? I asked, yeah. Tom, I asked Brady a question. You asked Tom Brady a question? I did. I asked him for the entire you sound of this? How old were you? I was working at PRO. I was like 24. Okay, I would you ask him? Uh, I asked him if he thought the whole situation was over, thought it was all getting overblown and he looked at me, smiled, laughed and said the integrity of the game. Yeah. Oh, is that press conference? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. He was never. I saw Remo was talking about this this week too because he was doing the um, talking about the documentary. He was like Brady kind of snapped after. And he's right. Trump and that kind of Brady just wasn't going to talk about. And uh, which I'm gonna call it after that too. The friggin' Guerrero, that old thing. Yeah, yeah, sort of that. Yes, sort of the combination. What was the guy's name? Jastrzemski, whatever the hell. Yeah. Was. Oh, yeah, 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 the ball boys. Yeah, that was a crazy story. Where are they at? They've probably Dorito good fingers or whatever. Yeah, the heck Dorito, is Dorito Dink or something. Dorito Dink. <laughs> good point though. Just being six, that is. Yeah, I don't. I, everybody I bags on Coleman for the takes. That's but. fair. I don't. I want Justin would really know about that team if I ask him questions. Yeah. Who okay. they beat week four? They beat week four. Oh, I don't know that. They didn't win but. week four. Oh, okay. Actually, I, 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 I title game. I don't. I don't. Title game was against the the Colts. In 03? Yes. Okay. 04 is Pittsburgh, right? Yep. That was, so was They blew them out, right? Kind of? So was 01. Yeah, they blew out the Colts, too. They did. In 03. Yes. I was at that game. That was the Ty Law game. Oh, yeah. Yep. My brother Ryan and I were at that game. My brother Ryan just turned 40 on Sunday. The yeah. Yeah. did actually lose week four. They lost to the Redskins. Yes. 2017. How did you know that? That's, that's, that's weird. That's weird. <laughs> it's the last game they lost. That's a they weird won. Uh, that was the start of the streak. Oh, really? Because they lost. Week one. To Bledsoe. Yeah, thirty-one nothing. They got blown out by, but and they beat Buffalo by the same score. Same score, right? yeah. <laughs> Pencil. See, there. Gus. I mean, I, I'm not even a sports guy. You know, Coleman's like, why am I not? Like, why am I not in the? Why am I not in the fancy baseball? It hurts. Okay, you're it doing hurts. that whole thing. I used to. It, it hurts too. like when you. Get they asked should have to a gay movies. representation in that league. Oh, what was that, Gus? When it, when you asked to go to movies and I just always shot down, but Justin. Ooh, Harvey, ooh that's a fair point. Oh, that one hurt. Well, to see that, that hurt. And he, but 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 he didn't show up though. Oh, that's true. Yeah, but I'm used to that though. Oh my you have to sleep over with you. Yeah. Yeah, Mick won't. Yeah, no, he, he can't sleep over. Gus is invited, but he can't I, sleep over. Invited where? He's invited, invited to the next live stream. He's invited to any live stream. Oh, are you going to do it? I guess. I don't know what the challenge is. I'll do <laughs> I it. I guess. I was totally... What's the next challenge? I don't... I, we're working on it, so I don't want to come on here and say a bad idea. So I'm going to work it out with Gus, but I, I was never... anticipating you to tell me to fuck off. Why? He's a laid back guy. He likes still, you. Gus likes you. Still, he I, pretends I, 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 he's Mick's all right. Yeah, but in, when we saw each other in Delaware, it was... I oh, that's right. You guys were Yeah, it that was, was a little. It was, I just. I'm. My biggest issue is that one of the biggest people to go after me and what he criticizes me for is what exactly what he's do is do, he does the same, but What's he that? Do, right, I hate Gus. The yeah, lying. Right. The he's all fucked up. So when just, he says it's all about <laughs> like when he when anyone says, "Oh, I'm not sensitive." Yeah, you are sensitive, but he doesn't admit it. It's just he can't admit the truth of himself. He comes at me for being a liar and everything, but he won't admit it to himself. Everyone's I mad. Lied. Everybody in Delaware. Up, You're I'm mad. Good. Harry was pissed off. I was pissed. Was Harry mad? Content. Harry was pissed. He said that Justin used all the hot water in the shower. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Well, he did. Is that that's, true? That's your son. <laughs> your He's DNA mad. is in that child. He has a group. What? So your DNA is in well, that so child. Well, so is yours. That's the issue. <laughs> no, no. Stop. Stop. Is that why you like that's, that much? That's, that's the issue. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not. It's, you know, it's inappropriate. There's, there's times to laugh and there's times to be serious. Don't you think? Yes. <laughs> this is time to be serious? Yes. Okay. I, apo I apologize. Of course, it's the joke, Justin. You're not attracted to little children at all, are you? I am not. <laughs> the lot detective <laughs> <laughs> the crowd loves that answer. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so right, so you you have no ideas for this next wacky. You saw me do the puzzle as a yeah. kid. I, when I was a kid, that's when the Rubik's cube really became. Could you a do phenomenon. it? My dad could do it. I couldn't do one side ever. If you put one, if you put me in a room here for a, really a, no chance. My brain doesn't. Same thing with the puzzle. I My thought brain I would bring in one and give it to you and see if you do it twenty four hours. No, zero really? chance. And for a couple of years ago, Mick, you didn't even. Do I, that. I'm not. I'm an idiot. He's sorry. Couple You're a smart guy. Ago, I'm selectively smart. A couple of years ago, Ruby's Cube they changed the shape of it. Like they had like a weird. I don't think so. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah. I've seen it before. It's no, they like did. A, the kids were playing. It got big again a few years ago. It's back to where it is now. But it was almost like a circular. They had like a weird one. Yeah, they, they got to one. points where they had like. Yeah, kids were playing it. Like a thousand by a thousand. Yeah, it was, it was dumb. Insane. But then you see videos of people who do it in. Like a second. The yeah. world record is less than a second, I think. Or something. A minute fan sent me a encrypted video. I, didn't, I thought it was like child porn. I didn't know what I was getting here. <laughs> yeah, it was very, sure. weird. it was very weird. And it was him in front of a computer, <laughs> and it was twenty seconds of him doing it. It was, it was just him, and he said, "Don't dox me." 
That's crazy. And it wasn't his face or anything. It was just his hands. What's the world record weird. right now for it? 3.13 seconds. Yeah, I've seen was, people do it with their feet. I hate saying that word, but their feet, I've seen people do it. Yeah. Blindfolded <laughs> behind the back? Yes. I don't, I don't understand it. Can you do it? No. You I can do like, it when you, I go. Just like I could see doing it. We thought you not could do it. No, not at all. No, my brother would dabble in it a little well, bit. That's just magic, though. Yeah, exactly. That's different. <laughs> yeah. Just, magic, then it just happens. Yeah, but even then, like he's not one of these guys that can just whip it out and just... What? Harry Harry pulled the trick the other day where he was doing the, with the cards. He may be a young... Uh, he, and you pick the card, and then he goes through it, and he show, and he, but he took me behind the scenes. It's not that... No. Once no. they show you how to do it, it's not no. as exciting. Yeah. Yeah. That's why my brother just says, I did it very well. Yeah. That's how he does it. Yeah. Oh, smart. Smart. What else you got? Mix you got Mix got that phone going today. All right. Mix okay. alive today, Jason. Yeah, we're I love it. It. I, I, also said he'll call back. He was okay. going through security, so Okay. How, how's the health, Mick? Uh who reaches out right away? Okay, so that's another thing. Calling names. It didn't reach out. That's another oh, thing. That's I just, I just, You're always focused on who doesn't. Uh, who did? You did. You reached out I right did. away. Yeah. Huh. Did Absolutely. Justin? Uh, yes, yes. And both producers. Gus? They're great. No, Gus didn't, but I didn't expect him to. That's okay. He shouldn't. Rivalry sh rival yeah, shouldn't. I, do that. I would feel a little disingenuous if anything. Would you feel bad if he died? I would feel bad. Would you go to the family? services? Jesus Christ! I, I, he would go would to the. Would you feel that bad? He would go to the service. I would. I'm a. Yes. You would go. Yeah. It would be I funny. Would. It would be funny. For it him would be funny for me. That's not, bad. That's not a bad outfit no? to get buried in. Oh, would probably. you wear socks or no? Should you be wearing socks? Yes. When you're my parent. I mean, my. I, I guess. I don't know. No. No. Would you ever? You, you would have an open casket. I've never been to one, so no. I, I don't think that. I think that's kind of inappropriate. <laughs> well, inappropriate even in death well it's traditional i mean it depends I'm i think you. it's honestly pretty inappropriate to have an open casket really my, neither of my parents did mm. it's just you're putting a lot of people in an uncomfortable situation that's an interesting Touch take I, I feel like it's like generationally like my generation way less than my parents right. you guys will be way less and yeah i feel like it's gonna be gone well, so i feel like older i've seen i've seen it like older people like like bow in and like touch Person. Oh, I see people like, take kiss pictures, yeah, like kiss them. I yeah. just, I just stare at the the person. You know, like, hi, sorry if you're lost by. Justin looks at the ages of people. <laughs> when the little kids die, he goes, "It's yeah. really fucked up." Like it's like he, he'll take pictures, and kiss them too. It's very weird. <laughs> when they're dead, they're any age. He says, <laughs> <laughs> "Immortal is not an age." Reads the obituaries, leaves you, behind a kid, goes to that that's one. That's it. <laughs> you know, you don't have an open casket, your grandmother, because she's super religious. Oh, definitely. Definitely open casket. Get ready yeah. for that. Yeah. That's going to be a tough scene. Yeah, I've, I've, I think I've only been to open caskets. I don't think I've ever... Really? Been, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen one that was just closed. So I've they do it, like, it. they prepare, like, my parents, they prepare them. My dad, like I said, bled out, so he was all pale. So they redid it, and we were all just like, they opened the casket, like, oh, jeez, that's, it's fucking yeah. sucks. Uh, it's not great. Do they put like, makeup on them and stuff? Yeah, like it's yeah. weird. It's like calling names. People are speculating like, calling it makeup on yesterday. I've been hearing that, especially with his TikToks, too. I think he is wearing some makeup, which I think he would admit to doing, I little think. guy liner? Yeah. Wait, 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 he's like, <laughs> for like a joke or like trying to look good? No, I think he's trying to look good. Oh. Calling is sliding in like, he looks like a... It looks like a, a guy who's won, a person who's won like six events on the LPGA tour. Now. Like, a, <laughs> like an ensconced LPGA it's a veteran. Ellen DeGeneres to him. Yeah, he's it's got that, that thing going right now. But it's good. He's pulling it off. Uh, I was being chic. Speaking of uh, walking dead bodies, uh, we have Clemmer on the line. Okay. Now. Hello. Got his ass. Hello. I got, now I got that doughy fuck making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, uh, uh, Mick is here, and he's he's, there's some speculation that you left some fantasy baseball league because you and Montante hate each other. Would you care to respond to that? It's the rumor. That is not true. No, no, I left. I didn't. I, I, Montante too big, too was big a right. star. I too big a star. Too big a star. No, 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 not at all. I, I just, I, I, I did, wasn't like super into doing fantasy baseball last year. So I'm like, eh, I'm still in a fantasy football league with some of the guys. Okay. So, so what's, so Ziggy Robinson fake reporting, you're saying? This is not true. No, I don't, I have no issue with Montante at all that I know. Well, it was okay. issue with me. Have you ever met Clemmer Mick or no? No, I've never met Clemmer. Okay, Mick, go ahead. You have a, you look at the question for him. I, I was wondering if there was anything else other than the fantasy baseball, but he seemed to clear that up. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, yeah. It, that's it. You had a good day yesterday? Yeah, it was a, lot, it was a blast. That office is incredible. Like, it is. That's what I said. Even I, like the lighting is amazing. Okay, take it easy. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> I said, I said. Why is that? <laughs> you make, it's like you're on the set of like a fucking Christopher Nolan film. Even the lighting's amazing. It was just really nice. It was just a really and uh, it's we a had fucking great building. It, I know. I saw your tweet. I said you're, you're so the opposite. So the opposite of me. You're like I had a great day. I had a great dinner with the guys. You're so happy. That's right. Yeah. It's, I am. That's good. I was very that's happy. Good. That's true. That's good. I was saying this to. I, heard, I was saying this to Brandon the other day. I think I mentioned this to you before. I cannot find these old Xander Hollander, NBA MLB. You know what I'm talking about? No. 
Like the ones we had when we were younger, like the year by year NBA, NFL, they had like the bios of the players on them. If I send it to you, you know, like the who's who, remember the no, who's who? In yeah, baseball? but like, are you on? Oh, you're on your phone right now. If I send it to you, you'll see it, right? I don't know how this works. I don't know. I don't, I'm terrible at that stuff too. I have no idea. Okay, yeah, you're, you're, so, you're so fucking mysterious. Let me no see. No Uber Eats though. No, it's not mysterious. <laughs> I just don't understand how technology works either. He does know Uber Eats. That's a good point, Colin. <laughs> Let me see here. Uh, like if, I'm trying to find an image of it right now. Do you know what I'm talking about, Justin? Can you find it? The complete handbook of baseball. Yes, like that. I'll send you the picture right now. All right. I heard you also think that um, uh, the solitary time is too easy. The what? On yesterday's show. You yeah. Yesterday you- I, well, I mean, I, I mean, like you could cook stuff, and I, I do think no, it would be. I, can't. I think it would be good if you didn't know it all when you were like when you're going. People are going to say in the chat what time it is, and I don't know. The, the, the chat, I don't know. I didn't want to have the chat. Uh, the, cha- the production I suggested the chat. Okay. Like those. You never saw those? Oh, yeah. I remember those. Those are great. I can't yeah, find them I, anywhere. Like I, I, I haven't seen them in forever. They would find like the <laughs> Yeah, it was good. He wrote good ones about the NBA. Like here's a, it'd be snarky. I'd like to, I can't, I told Brandon. Brandon looked at me like, you know, I, I don't know. He goes all these fucking things. I thought maybe he'd find one. So. I don't know. Oh, so, he, yeah. Hmm? Brandon, Brandon is such an odd guy. Like, I he, in person, he's like, like really. Yeah, I, I love him, and like, it was in New York. I see him every day, and it was great. This was oh, he, oh he, he, he's Brandon. He's one of a kind. I don't know. It's very very weird talking to him sometimes. I don't Any, know. Anybody stalked down after this trip or no? I don't think so. Of course not. Right. I don't. I don't know. I I no. I I really don't think so. It was just stock up all the way. Like I said. It was, it was just a really good time. I had a great time. It was just a really good trip. It was a good bonding experience for all the guys. I know. You, great. great. You That's like great. this shit, too. You're, yeah, you, but, but, you but, 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 I could, but I could say, like, Kevin didn't try, or I can say, like, I can be critical. Kevin of didn't try. No, Kevin, I, I... Now, I know he has, like, a neck issue, so that's why he didn't do a lot of the stuff. But, mm. no, I don't... I, Poor night yeah, shoulder great. issue still... Was Dave... Was, Dave wasn't there, was he? No, I'm just saying with the free no. throws. Like, Dave still was there by the end, still shooting. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Right. yeah. No, I... Yeah, I mean, I... I mean, obviously, I knew, like, I'm not going to do well at it, but you, I think you're going to give 100% all the time. Yeah, like, it was why good. Not? You're, I enjoyed, you're there. Yeah, it like, was good. Why, why, the, why the fuck else, you know? But no, uh, what, what was your issue with solitary confinement? I want to take a bit. With what? With, with, with solitary confinement. Oh, you're very worried about this. No, I I, I just think like no, I, for, like it's like it's like a, almost a gift. Like it's not going to be that like, you're going to you're going to have fun doing it. I think it was a month. I don't know. It was a month. I'd say you know maybe. A month. Do you, do you think the chat should be in play? No, I, 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 do, I do not. Chris, can you have someone monitor it for you? Like in, Someone is they, monitoring it for me. Yeah, but like they'll filter out the ones that are telling them the time. Yeah, but... The, but I don't how, think anyone's monitoring. I think oh, I thought somebody the Rumble chat. Why, do you think, no, you, you, think gonna, you think you should have access to the chat? What's that? You think you should have access to the chat? I didn't want the chat. Production so, wanted the chat. Well, who cares about them? Who? Who? They said it was better for engagement. I don't know how these things work. Who's they? they? they Who's they? That, like production, like all the guys working on this. Name like somebody's was, name, Chris. Who are we talking? Uh, about? Jake Bass, Cody oh, Lanza. Jesus, like the, these are the, stupid the, people. The, Who cares? No, they're not. No, they're not at all. Oh Jesus, uh, they're good sources sometimes. Though. That's a good point. You're not, you're not kidding. About that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I can confirm <laughs> that. They have, they have email accounts and they are in New York. I can yep. confirm a couple of those names. But no, uh, I just think it would be funny if it was a camera on you. It was just a study of a man in isolation. Nothing else. No chats. And watch you go crazy. Roan agrees with you. Roan doesn't think there should be a chat. Well, he God. thinks I should reach out to Dave and ask him. But I, I'm like, I don't know. I'm gonna bother. Like, I'll I'm handle. I'll, I'll, Chris, I'll handle it Thursday. It's How fine. can you be in solitary oh, confinement when there's all those people with you? Well, they're not in the room, Gus. But, you but, understand that? Yes, right? the I, chat but, is a. But that's still, the chat is the chat is virtual. But, but that is still a distraction. That, <laughs> I agree. That can I, I agree. It'll so be like, you're not really it, alone. It's almost like having a TV there. Yeah, I agree. I, I do agree with that, God, Chris. Should have a bench. Yeah, I, I I completely understand that argument. So like, it's really. I was leaning back on production, but then Rowan said I should push back on Dave. So I don't I don't know I don't know what to do. But what do you say, uh, Coleman? Should have a bench press in there. Coleman do- keep Col- Coleman keep in mind didn't know what number Jackie Robinson was, so, <laughs> or Aaron Judge. So we're talking about just like, one one in the stream can end. All right, we'll talk to you later. Have a good flight. <laughs> all right, all right, thank you, man. Yeah, there. Chris Clumber having a good time. <laughs> totally denies it. Yeah, I guess I Ziggy Robinson. That's. I did get Knock an update. Another from, missed uh, Ziggy Robinson. Ziggy Robinson's a big slump. Yeah. What's that? I got an update from Montante. Harry Minahan owns him. Yeah. Uh, so the person, I guess, that did the poll 
He said, hey, man, would you mind retweeting my poll? I put this up mm. this afternoon. I get like zero reach on Twitter, yeah. Yeah. but I'm genuinely curious about how people feel. You reach way more people than I do. He said, not a problem. He sent that message. Imagine being quick. the person who sucks up to Montante for a retweet. He yeah. said, behind on who today's is that? show, just heard this, LOL, Eminem boys in shambles. <laughs> He's laughing out loud? I guess so, yeah. Oh, good. I'm glad we're making him laugh. <laughs> That's great. Who the, are you, who, whose account was that? At the Kirk Minna fan. Oh, well, thank you, I suppose. It sounds like he's a fan. But I don't know how many votes did that get with the big Montante push. 12? I saw it had like 15,000 views. 985. Wow. With, and what's uh, the question? Would you consume a short form podcast with Dave Cullinane and Mike Butnansky? I would not after the first one. Well, the, Go ahead. They are hell yes. Good. Sure. No. And get me my gun. What was the winner? Yes. Hell yes, with 63.3%. Mm. Wow. That's with Montante producing. Uh, I don't know about that one. What I, do you mean? Get me the gun. Yeah, I, I'm kind of with you after the first yeah. episode. It's not going to be great. You think with a Montante retweet, that would win too. <laughs> That's a good point. It's a big power retweet. What else is going on? What do you guys have? I'm legitimately worried about Mutt. He well, sounds like he's going <laughs> through it. And Somebody pointed out to me, actually, it might have been Ziggy Robinson. Somebody pointed out to me, I, I must have missed because I'm laughing at him so hard, that his dad emails him through the mutt stack yeah tell me he's doing a good job <laughs> it's not just his regular it'd be weird enough as your regular i can say i never got an email from my father ever he would just never, no. call me yeah that would be weird I wonder, do you think my dad's number is still it's definitely someone else's now my mom's was not a few months ago was it is it a 774 617 my mom's number was 617 give it a call oh that's creepy i didn't even know they do that what I didn't know. Like I, I didn't know they give someone his phone number. Like this is as, as soon. As soon as it becomes available. It what are you two right laughing at? What are you laughing at, Coleman? <laughs> well, you just stopped at six one seven. Well, they were talking, Coleman. This oh, is no, the no, rhythm no, to no, the no, show. No. Sorry, it's not your fucking <laughs> pandemic show. Six one seven eight four two six one one seven. It was giggly today. Me and my brother have one f number apart, and you're telling me if he died two years from now, I call that number, it'd be someone else. Not a working number. Okay, yeah, that's, that's seven right. years. That's what I thought. Aren't you guys surprised at that? Yeah. That is that's surprising. Yeah, I agree. Usually it gets changed, right? At some yes. point. Yeah, I don't know. What do you think that's about? Must just be a strange. Is it like a. Maybe it's on like a list. Maybe there's like a. What do you think she was like Al Qaeda or something? No, <laughs> what like, do you mean? As, as these numbers go dead, like maybe they just get bumped up to new people getting new numbers. Yes, maybe my dad's. I don't know. Let me see here. Uh, let me see. Do I still have it? I must. Tony Mass, I think it's Tony Mass's old number, unfortunately. <laughs> MHB is on my uh, on my contact list. He comes and goes. Yeah, he's gone. I you can't. You know, I mean, he's like you can't. Does he have like a real job? Is that why? Does he have real stuff know. on? Him? Yeah. Uh, six one seven nine three nine six three eight two. Fucked up. He answered. The number you dialed has been changed, disconnected, or is no longer in service. Seven years. That is strange. Right? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe they just don't give out six one. Because I, I think if you... You like, and your go, brother's numbers are one number apart? Yeah. Two. Two numbers. A lot of people. Two. It, they probably got the phone at the same oh, time. Oh, yeah, the same yeah, time. We were, yeah, yeah, yeah. we were all on the same point. Right, right, yeah. What were you saying, Justin? Um, may, like, I think if you go to Verizon now, I don't think you can get a 617 number. Oh, they're just gone? Like, I'm sure... All combinations have been taken? Yeah, it's probably... Or just, they're just giving like 401s or... Right, right, right. Or something. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Okay. What else? Well, oh, you worry about Mutt? Yeah, he sounded like he's on like the verge of like legitimately like when you asked him like, oh, do you ever go to therapy? And he's like, I should. And then he goes into it. <laughs> he's got some issues. I, I don't. He doesn't want to get a real job because I think he thinks it's signaling defeat. That's what I think. Which it is, but like it's but it's time. Defeat on what though? Like, he's going to get back in the media oh. and get a job. Like, that's not going to happen. But isn't, aren't, like, your family's pretty little more important than that? Yes, I agree. I think he's battling that right now. So I don't, when he says he's, like, a night with Teddy Bruschi is not a living. <laughs> they probably threw him 100 bucks, like, I, or whatever, $280. It's not a living. But you can do freelance stuff like that and make good of course, change. and work. But it has to be consistent for it to actually work, Yeah, right? but, like, there's not a lot of jobs like that. Yes. Like, what's he going to do? You know, I don't know. No? When he said he would, he has a lack of purpose... Yeah, that hit deep right there. It was like, oh, buddy. he does have a lack of purpose. He is a lack of purpose. Oh, no, don't say that. I mean, look at these guys. Like they are both <laughs> claiming to have jobs, right? Or, or in the yeah. process of yeah. of yeah. working towards jobs. Yeah, right. Come on, doesn't. I agree. You know, like Mud hasn't had a job now for fourteen months. And he's worried about the book club. 
I mean, that's all he wants. Yeah, he's worried about the book club. <laughs> he's worried club. about like this uh, and that. Mod, he's but if you're listening, you're valuable. You're respected. We love you. Yep. Take all sharp objects away. How is he valuable? To determine that was a lie. <laughs> How is he valuable? People love Mutt. Mutt's great on the show. If I retired tomorrow, would Mutt have value? Not yes. to this show. Not yes. to this show. No. He, he has a, if I retired, he would have value of the show. No. Well, the show be gone, Mick. But like, even, even, it, you're right. Yeah. If, no, if you, if somebody casting, filled in for you, over. Mick would take. Let's oh, say, he took yeah, over. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Doing that, on. I just don't think he'd be good with me. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's big news. Wow. That's big news. Jesus yeah. Christ. Man. So hold on. So if you take over when I retire, and you take over the show, which I think we all we've already you know, established. Yeah, we all know that's yes. going to happen. Dan knows that's going to happen. That's right, yeah. Who's in? Who's out? Are you, are you keep this is a brand. Brand names are big. Mike stays. Hold on. Well, that's good for Mike. Hold on, because Kirkman and Show is a brand. Yes. Are you getting rid of that name? No, it's going to stay. It, oh. would, it, would, it would depend on what you would want. It's like the Tonight Show. Okay. You would decide before you departed. Would it be the Kirkman and Show with Mick? It would, whatever Kirk would decide. If he wants to do the Kirkman and Show. What name would what you like? Doesn't care? Would you call it Beyond the Average Mick? That's another brand that you cross pawning no, the big I brands. No, I wouldn't. I would Kirk never. I, I would, I would okay. keep the brand as is. I would not, okay. I would not pollute the brand. You're going to sit in this chair. If you allow me to, sure. I think you'd have to. Well, I mean, I, if you well, were gone, I would well, be just, the guy. So I wouldn't be. Of course. Like, I wouldn't be catering would you keep to you these anymore. guys as producers? <sighs> Justin can stay. Oh, oh no, 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 Fuck no, 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 you. Let's go, man. Fuck you. you. Keep them both. No, keep them keep both. Keep your fucking donuts. Keep them both. <laughs> so, Mick, so Mike is, you're going to keep lying, Mike? Yep. Okay. Because I think he's good. On, he'd be good on the show. But Mutt, you're down on. Yeah, I don't think me and Mutt. Okay, no vibe. Mm-mm. Colin Ain? He can be a whackbacker. Okay. Yeah, that's always uh, good for Gus? Him. I like Gus. Oh my, my Gus goodness. is in. Okay. All right. All this right. is fucking okay. bullshit. I like Gus because he just, just a minute who are ago. Gonna, who are you going to bring in that, that I don't have in? Who's going to be part of the crew? Out of the Minifans? No, you just no, bring in Al's coming Al's coming in. Al's, Al's coming, coming in. Christian's Christian. coming yeah. I don't know if people, people, I hate Al. I really do. I can't stand <laughs> Al. I, what I, happened to Al? Was he coming in at some point? He still, he still would. He wants to. What happened? Well, he's got a job. He's like a real person. You're still talking to him though. You said you hate him. So I haven't talked to him a lot and he shows up at the house during the live stream. And uh, it just clout. immediately, immediately, like this is what you've been doing all night, like this sort of, and it's just like to get the fuck out of here, man. Like I, I don't, I don't have time for him. Mm-hmm. I can't stand him. Okay. Um, okay. But Al would be, yeah, he, he, he'd, I'll be him. he'd be good. Beyond yeah. average Christian, he's an entity. I'm telling you. Oh sure. Yeah, I'm he's permanent. talent. He's really he's talented. talented. Someone's gonna pay for it here. Yeah. How many days a week? <laughs> Do five, four, five, <laughs> four, five. Okay, good. Four, five. Okay. Yeah. Keep the studio or no? I think we gotta upgrade the internet somewhere else. All right. yeah, that seems gotta, fair. We gotta fix this. That seems fair. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, good. Twenty twenty seven. What do you think? I mean, you the said, contract's up September first, twenty twenty seven. Yeah, but you said the other day that you would sign for four more years today. I would back you just give up the show and do something else if you want. I mean, at that point, you'd be yeah. willing to do that. Yeah, I consider okay. it. Okay. What day of the week is September first, twenty twenty seven, Justin? Let me see. Middle of the week, it looks like to me. It is a Wednesday. Well, I mean, you want to start? Do you want to start the sixth that following Monday? No, I think I think the, I think your last day will be the some, Tuesday, and I'll jump in on, on Wednesday. I think you might want to give it a couple of days. Let, let, let it breathe. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I'd start that sixth All if right. I were you. Just Fair. a piece of advice. Okay, that might I'll, be Labor Day. I'll consider it. What if he's married at that point? That's okay. Well, that's that's that's, he, that's another issue right now. <laughs> that's <laughs> blow up last night. Oh no! Uh, not joking. Not joking. What's this hoe doing now? Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, am I wrong here? It, 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 it went from like. Pitches, right, Nick? We, we need to move out. We need to get married to are we right for each other? From who? So I I stupidly was like Was somebody else here? Was it just you by yourself again or no? No, this is, no, no, no okay. I wasn't talking about it. Right, so walk me through. No, this so is what like, happened? it was on the phone, so it wasn't we weren't. Oh, it wasn't a person. No, no, it was just last night. I uh, picture you having these endless phone conversations. Uh, yeah. It yeah, seems three like, hours. Not never FaceTime, but yeah, on the phone. I, I can talk on the phone. Well, I'm sure you can. So you're talking to her last night. She seems very nice, by the way. We talked to She's her. She's great. No, it, 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 but the the yeah, whole well, 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 let's get her out again. No, 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 no. What do you mean, though? No, no, not today. Another day, but not today. That's the way the mix show is going to work, Coleman. Yep. Another it, day. It's she wouldn't another answer day right now, anyways. But why I, is that? She been deported because because of, <laughs> of last night. Because of last night. Yes. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah. she wouldn't be deported. No, yeah, no, it would, no, right. of course not. No, okay, no, she's American. Right. So <laughs> um, what happened? Uh, she just was. It started off with started off with us not talking. Mm-hmm. She was talking about going on vacation with her parents. What's wrong with that? Nothing's wrong with that. And I was like, oh, okay, well. Where are they going? So I thought, where are we going? That's a problem. <laughs> so I said, so I was initially. But why, like, is, it, but why is it so well, bad I'll she get, just wants I'll, to go? I'll, I'll oh, I'm, I'm asking a married man. Okay. Why is that so bad? No, it's not. I'm, I'm saying it's bad for him to assume 
that right. he's gone. Yes, I agree. I agree. I happen to agree with you. You guys. think, all right, so you both are crazy. God, I think everything with you, Mick, is a slight. If you're with somebody for six years. <laughs> but you have to go on every vacation together. I'm not saying we have to, but if we, I would. You I would, take shits together? No. Like, uh, if I was going on, on a vaca- treadmill together? If I was going on vacation. If I was going on vacation point. with anybody other than my actual like friends, I would. she would be there. Wait, with so, my family, her so, family. So, so, you can so go, you can go if, to your boys, but she you can't went, go to their family. Let's say with a bachelor party or something like that. Like I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go to her bachelorette party or something like that. Let's say, like, let's say Al said, Mick, what's going on? Like Ryan and I will go on golf trips occasionally. I wouldn't go with Al. I'm just saying whoever. <laughs> yeah. Christian. You would go. So me and Christian went to Delaware. That's not a bachelor party. No. So, but, if me, so, so if me and Coleman went to Vegas and we're like, Mick, do you want to go? You would, you'd be fine with that. She wouldn't be. Why? What you think, you're going to fuck people or something? No, she, I mean, she would, she would. She would say, "This is really your priorities. You're gonna. It's well, kind of sim- it's kind of similar to having a live stream when you're supposed to be getting God, married. Mick, you are fucking. And all of a sudden, she's like, hey, it's it. Sunday. It's Sunday, and you're this fucking is a around. Full like. meltdown today. <laughs> yeah. Pause. Think about this story for a second, because this seems like a uh, a decent spot for better help. I think. I yeah, 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 yeah. Good spot. We'll talk about millions later on, because Gus is a walking advertisement for it today. Uh, BetterHelp.com. B e t t e r h e l p dot com slash Kirk one zero. Mike Manansky, I think, is on his way there right now. Uh, you go online. We match up with your therapist. Take questionnaire first. I'll walk you through. Be a comfortable male, female, old or younger. The kind of things you want to talk about, whether it's family stuff, uh, whether it's some addiction issues. They'll help you find the right person. They'll help you throughout the process. Uh, convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. That's important too, because a lot of these you know people who do it during the day. If you maybe need to do it early in the morning before work or late at night after work, or when you feel more comfortable, you have to do it uh, virtually. You have to do it um, Zoom. You can do it without looking at each other. Whatever makes you comfortable. Betterhelp.com slash Kirk one zero B E T T E R H E L P dot com slash Kirk one zero. Uh, the Kirkman Show is sponsored by BetterHelp. We thank them for joining us today. All right, so you're talking to her last night. Where's she going, by the way? Uh, they're going to Mexico, I think. Okay, or Cancun, I think. I uh, imagine her parents want nothing to do with you. So that's another part of the thing. Like right, her, am I right or no? Her, uh, her her dad and her stepmom don't hey, really hey, like me very much. Of course much. they will. But, but but there's uh, there's very good reason why. Yeah, for for I I am just I'm <laughs> Mick, we are <laughs> listen to me listen I I'm will tell you me. I will tell you right now I am an idiot but this one I am right on and I just don't want to get into it because it, it's just well, well give me an idea you can't do you that. can't do she this has thing. a very she she has she has some stuff going she has hard issues in her life and your girlfriend her, yeah and her parents okay. are not very supportive of it and they haven't been for a long time why they hate why they dislike you because of that because I think you call I, them out for it yes and and to and, their face and her and her parents have not had a good relationship for a long time for the okay. last like five years okay for her her mom so maybe they're her, going away on the trip to bomb and you're getting the way by being a baby but i saw that so i saw i saw her parents last summer i made sure i went up paid for their food at the restaurant at your place they went to yeah because they didn't even tell me they were coming or anything like that i just i saw them and i paid for the fajitas and everything <laughs> okay good yeah. all right so okay. don't, don't some parents get angry at that isn't that like a tony soprano thing i paid for my fucking family yeah, yeah. But, i paid for my fucking but like, yeah, but, my, if like yeah. but if like kate's like or harry did later i'd be like that's a nice like, like totally later on was like i understand it's a nice gesture. you would say thank you yeah oh sure i would be i would yeah, probably say like i'm i'll handle it for my fucking daughter yeah, yeah, we, we got it, Justin. <laughs> Take it easy, Justin. Relax. Oh. I think you're fired up by Mick. Take it easy. But yeah, he, 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 they don't really like me. And so sure, I, I'm sure that's exactly why, but yeah. No, it really is. No, like, I'm sure it's the only reason. Yeah. Do, you, do you really, you think I would go to like their house and like put on a bad impression? I would say you're that, an annoying guy. Not, not in the parents, 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 parents. Yeah, no. That's true. They would, they would be like, wow, this kid's really nice. And then, <laughs> okay. And then, and then, and then, I'm sure they said that. And then people who know me be like, oh, you don't know the real him. Sure. Okay, so. Uh, so she says. So she says. I'm going away with uh, my she mom says, and dad to I saw my, Mexico. I saw my mom, or I saw my stepmom and my dad tonight. And okay. I said, "How'd that go?" So they came into the restaurant that she's at, and I said, "Okay, well, I said, Dad, they invited me to go to Cancun," and I just said, "Oh," and then she said, "Why is that weird?" And then I go, "Oh, it was like us?" Question mark. And no, just me. And then, then it was so what, Mick? Then it was care? then it was well, you know why? And then that whole thing started coming. So then that what I just told you about powdered that, sugar. <laughs> well, <laughs> that whole thing started coming about and then <laughs> then it turned into the ring the engagement the moving out are we right for each other 2 a.m rolled around it might be babe, time. babe i got a big day tomorrow i got kms might be time might be time to move on i don't know i don't know it's definitely a it's, a, it's at a crossroads but I told why you, this, you but why don't you just say hey that's great have a good trip with your stepmother and your father. Why would you care? Am I wrong? I don't actually care. So why be why be a dick about it then? Because it's it's the do I want to? It's the principle. I, no, no. Yeah, what? <laughs> I'll tell you. You, you know, let me answer. Go ahead. I think I don't think that that's showing that like you're ready to like move in with somebody and be. Not at all. If you're going on vacation you? without them, what are you fucking? <laughs> t- that am means I, you, to me that's crazy. To me the exact yes, opposite. Really? 
It means like, okay, like we're an adult. I'm mature. You're going away. Have a good it's time. Not, it's not a trust. Come back thing. to me. It's more of a. I know. It's a, but it's a together thing. It's like, oh, we do things together. But you don't do. But you don't do. I'm not 21 years old. But you don't do everything together. But like a lot, most couples who I know, they travel together when they're going. Yeah, sure, but not always. Mo I would say most times. But yeah, but listen, if she said, hey, I'm going to Can Mexico, Cancun, Mexico, which yeah, Cancun. Yeah, right. by myself, that would be weird. Or sure, yeah. but she said, hey, I'm going to my step. I'd be like, all right, they invited you. So what? And, and, and I, what are you supposed to say? I would, like, I would, I'm more mad that she wasn't like, yeah, of course you can come. I'm like, yeah, I wouldn't what? go, I wouldn't go without you. That sort of thing. And I was like, Cause, cause, why? Cause my she man, has a terrible relationship with her parents. She knows that I've been the one that actually has been helping. What are you, Coleman? Is a homosexual? What is your take yeah, well, on this? Well, that's not true, but <laughs> I think it's wild to assume. Like, you can't just assume that you're just invited on the trip. Uh, she would be. In, she would be invited. She would be assumed to be invited. Well, do you to that you're I, would you be paying for it? I would pay for it if I had to. I would. I wouldn't. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. But you assume they're going to pay for your trip? Then? No, I wouldn't. Uh, no, I, if she said, "Yeah, you can come," but God, sorry, am I missing something? No, it's it's bizarre because my just, she, everything, everything's she, a slight mix. She's choosing her parents over me is basically what's happening, which is fine. That, that's okay. I, God forbid. That's that's okay. But also, but, but, but hold on, hold on, hold on. The reason is, is I have a problem with that is because the last five years it's been the exact opposite. So maybe they'll get maybe they'll make things better, and that. that's what I'm trying to strive for. I'm the one trying to make things better. I'm, well, the, I'm go on the trip. Why am I the bad guy though? Everybody's like, no, we can't have him around because no one's, been been the no one's saying you're a bad guy. <laughs> what I'm saying is, let them go on their trip, okay. and maybe they'll have a better well, relationship. Go. Yeah, hopefully it's fine. <laughs> I don't know what to say. This fucking guy is crazy. Uh, so I, what I don't understand is you say you're bettering their relationship, yet her parents don't like you because you've called them out for how I haven't they called them out. Well, I just have been. I understand. I'm like, protective. Yeah, I get no, that. I, I get. But he, but he's kind of driving like he causes some animosity now he in is. their eyes by. I tell by the truth. There. I tell the truth. See that care about the person. But what that does let's is say, causes animosity but to, in the parents. But to eyes. Gus's point, let's say now that your girlfriend says, you know, mommy and poppy, like I can't go on this trip now because. Then it becomes <laughs> a, like the war gets bigger. I I, I think is that it, your point, Gus? A bit, and he's also a, it's he's starting to make it seem like you have to choose her parents or you. No. Yes, exactly. Yeah, well exact, said, Gus. Wow, Gus is Gus great. is sobering up. <laughs> it, it's been a while. It's been a couple so of hours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I it's not that at all. I, I would be fine if she was had a good relationship with her parents and they went on vacation. It's the fact that no, you she doesn't have a good relationship with her parents, and I am the one who's not allowed to go, and she's still going. You're like a four year old. You want to go? On, you, I, are they so, seeing other family there? Yeah. So oh, yeah, no. I mean, if the parents aren't oh. crazy about you, they then see the Mick, rest it's like of a family. I think it's a wedding. I think it's like a or some sort of celebration for a wedding. So Mick, if a you want to guarantee to go, propose. That's the only way you can get the guarantee. If you wanted to go, you have to propose. But why do you need to, why do you need to go? Just, I don't. Why don't you say? Why don't you say? Hey, have a great time. I love you. Because I'll be here when you get back. Have a great time. Get a better relationship. Come back, and I'll be very happy for you and supportive. Because it am I missing something? Because she's gonna come back, and the question's gonna be like, why aren't we engaged? Why don't we live together? And I'm, well, gonna then, say, and I'm gonna say, well, you just went on vacation without me. We're not doing things as a couple. Is this a real relationship? What are we you do about? but you do things as a couple, right? Not as much. That's what I'm saying. That not lately. It's been a little distant. We've been it's like been, what? Did anything? The last, we went on. We went to Costa Rica last March, and that was like. Oh, but do you go? Was, do that, you go to that, dinner and stuff? Not a ton right now. We've both been really busy. It's been. It's been. We didn't do anything for Valentine's Day. Nothing. Hmm. I think we got this problem. Yeah. I'm telling you. I'm just. Yeah. This was last night. You guys think you think this is all just. No, 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 no. no one's saying that. No <laughs> one's saying that, Mick. Yeah, no one's not saying easy. Is it over? No, no, no. I'm going to go home and have this conversation. It's going to be great. Why don't you call her now? No, no. I'm ha I can. I can I'm she's, she's probably not even uh, like up and ready right now. She's probably hanging out. I mean, she's not awake. She's hanging out. Not, like, she's probably, I don't know. what She might, she might be at the gym. Seven. I don't know. It's 1045. Yeah, but she's like not like, she doesn't go into her work. She's at the there. gym a lot during the day now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the yoga instructor. Yeah, uh, yeah. Personal uh, trainer. Maybe she's somebody else. Happy guy. No, don't say Happy, that, Kirk. What? <laughs> I'm sure it's never crossed his mind. He's yeah. nuts. Yeah. yeah. Don't that's not. That that's not happening. That's not happening. Well, she seems like a very nice person. Well, when is this trip? Uh, I don't know. I actually, didn't even ask. Probably like 2025. Uh, let me see. <laughs> September seventh. Uh, so you can see these. These are long text messages. Oh, is that phone. you? No, this is her. This is. I was. Uh, is there not as long going, going to bed? Hmm? He has some decent sized ones, but nothing as long as hers. What's her? What's her? What's her crux of her? What's her core point? Uh, she feels that she has to choose between me and her parents at times, and think that's unfair. And I said that's crazy because I've been the one saying that you don't have to do that. I've been pushing not for that. Isn't life exhausting enough? Yeah. Have, why have these? I know. I know. Why make I know. things more difficult I, for yourself? I, I, I know. 
I'm, yeah. you know, somebody, Justin's lucky. He's a virgin, <laughs> right. technically, with people yeah. his age. He's alone. Yeah. Like, he's got his great, his, he yeah. says his grandfather, you want to go to dinner tonight. Like, it's a much easier life. You want to watch Star Wars, you know? Like, fine, he'll die alone, but he's still. He's going to die alone? No, certainly not. But he's, uh, he's oh, much nice. happier, right? I'm happy. I'm, I've been happy lately. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's good. Yeah. Right. Justin will make a good dad. Huh? Justin will be a good dad. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. What the fuck did this well, guy He's a nice from? guy. He's got a good what heart. What's going on? Right similar experiences. What's wrong with that? Just a compliment. You can't take a compliment. Around kids a lot. I don't know. Just, <laughs> no, stop, stop this kid thing. Okay, fine. What else is going on? Uh, well, as a, like, uh, a showing of not gratitude, but to bring us all together, the other day I bought, t- I was going to ask Mick and Gus if they wanted to join me and Coleman this Friday at uh, a Patriots place. I got tickets for everyone. What's Patriots? I'm in. Uh, uh, what's this now? The what's Blink there? 182 tribute concert thing. I'm in. I'm in. Fuck sure. Yeah. I'll go. Dave's I'm in. Go. Ziggy Robinson, 1034 a.m. Clemmer is one. Uh, Clemmer is lying. Montante 100% played a part in him leaving. You know, he's just reporting the news. Is there maybe a chance that Clemmer doesn't even know about Montante? Montante's so crazy. Maybe he's got some grievance that Clemmer doesn't know about. I don't know. I, I think like- I think Clemmer left, and then Montante is gonna is capitalizing on. It. It's like, oh, see, he couldn't handle he, me, or he's a big, he's a big star. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm thinking it is. But you could be right. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't. Remember- Ziggy Robinson's. I know he's listening. Call in. I want to hear. Mon- let's hear the story. I mean, uh, these guys are ducking behind the story. What's up? He came at Clemmer for the gambling thing. You remember? He was he was going at Clemmer for that. Remember? His yes, he hates Clemmer. Yeah, right? he's got a yeah, little yeah, little yeah, hair yeah, across yeah, his ass for Clemmer. Yeah. What what's Friday night at Patriot Place? Uh, me and Cole. Oh, Blink One Eighty Two. You guys gonna go? Yeah, yeah. I'll go. Well, you can't go by yourself. That's yeah, true. Yeah, we'll see. Five. We'll see. Five. <laughs> we'll see. Cinco. <laughs> Five. Perfect. You gotta bring the old lady okay. if you love her, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, see if, we'll, we'll Dave, Dave see if we're. Dave said he's gonna attack. be there too. Huh? Dave said he's gonna be there too. So maybe there's gonna be some. That's much. true. Oh, Fistica. that's true. Colleen's gonna be there. That's yeah. what he said yesterday. He was on the show yesterday, Mick. If you're a fan of the show, you know that. Tuning him out. What? Kirk's gonna be there. Oh. Where are you guys gonna eat before? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we pregame at like Red Robin or something. Oh, you got to yeah. do that. Yeah. Burgers and brews. Mm. Hell yeah. You got a gourmet burger. Yes. Don't want to go to uh, what's his place's fave? Uh, <laughs> See, Dave, yeah. No, How about the gambling? No. Oh, yeah, you might not want to do that. Place's yeah. fave. What's, what's his place's <laughs> fave? Still got it, folks. What else? Um, I had some audio that was sent. Um, it was Jen Royal on Anne, it, Large's wife. She did a podcast a while back mm-hmm. and had Jen Royal on, and she absolutely loses it on her when they start talking about Trump. Yeah, she's a crazy liberal, I think, right? Yes. Uh, let me just connect to her. I had mentioned you know, having... Why'd she have her on? And you were like top... So, I, I'm not exactly Coleman sure. Coleman loves uh, Large, Large's wife, by the way. Yeah, they're, they're I'm just saying, but... You yeah. just, but the, to let everybody be clear, you're coming from a biased place here. I guess so, but this was sent yeah. from. What are you smiling at? No, it's just. No, this was sent from. What do you? What do you saw? It's describe. fun being in here watching the squirming. Smoke more weed. Smoke more I fucking weed. In there. <laughs> How bad has Coleman been since you left? Uh, the audio has been. <laughs> oh God, this <laughs> fucking con. Just invite him. Just invite him out Friday night. He's dumping on you. But you're a Gus guy, though, Justin. Oh, I yeah. didn't invite him. Oh, I love Justin. That's a good vibe. That's a good vibe group. Yep. Is that considered a party mic or not? Oh, it's the fucking Yeah, that's a good, that, that's a good crew. Oh, that's oh, a good. If Montante is going to be around, oh, oh fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Blind Mike, you know, will come. Yeah. But do we get an update from him? No, nothing you, yet. Yeah, did we, you didn't talk to him yesterday? Uh, oh, no, after, I haven't. No? Hmm. How long is he gone for? He's getting in tonight. Okay. He's in Thursday with Montante. And I will say this. I mean, the fans have been okay this week. You know, I, I have some, maybe I'll lay it out Thursday, but if you want to show Friday. Ooh. Mm. I'm not going to give away what the show's going to be Friday, but you could have the rarest of all rares, the two drips in the same room. Oh, goodness. Big. No could way. drop the faucet and the drip in the same room. Friday same drips? Time. Can you imagine how exciting that would be? What, um, what's a worse show, the show from hell? or well, Which one was the show from hell? That was, that was Mayo, Mayo and, and Steve. Yeah. Oh, boy. Two guys oh, are just sad, gone. Oh, did you see that sad tweet yesterday? No, from who? Steve. Steve. Yeah. No, I think oh, I was <laughs> what was it? Is Steve alive? It was like it was Barely. like it was like, hey, at Kirkman, I'm still here, and it was like someone like waving. I'm, 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 silent, I'm silently like listening. Or yeah, and the we'll other get, one, we'll, we'll get. He'll be back in next week or something. We, it's been a while. It's been over a month for Steve, right? Yeah, it's been a while. Did yeah. he have some people like, coming after him and that whole thing? Sure. Well, now he's black, back to blocking people. He's oh, like, he is. They can get their victory laps, but I'm back to block. <laughs> <laughs> he's poor Steve. He messaged me. I told him I was like just. 
go away for a couple days. Like, you know, it's fine. Oh, Always. yeah. Who better for advice exactly. than you? I'm level headed. Who the hell's asking you? He's asking you for advice? No, I, not advice, but I, I saw that he talks to everyone. All these fans are nuts. I saw that yes. he went offline and I messaged him and said, hope everything's good because he messaged me when I was sick. So. Are you wearing socks, Gus? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So am I. All right. Uh, Anne and Large with Jen. Uh, it's just Anne. It, this is the, the Woe Man podcast. It's from 2020. Uh, so I named that before my podcast last night during that fucking uh, during that thing. Go ahead. So before she comes on, she's complaining about this guy that came into her restaurant. Uh, so, are they friends or something? No. Oh. So the other co-host, I guess, heard of Jen through Twitter and wanted her to come on and like okay. talk or something. Right. But uh, she's arguing about how this guy came in rambling about uh, the packaged food and everything. So she's even back then was complaining about guests yeah, canceling crazy. and stuff. Good. Five of these women. I was like, I, you know, we have to have her on. I said, the only thing is, you know, we're going to talk about everything under the sun except politics because you two are totally Minna separate. Fan but, Kim, you know, like, fan yeah. Kim Jong Un. I didn't know that account. I probably follow it. Sounds legit. I, uh, I am following it. It's just following. Uh, can someone tell me why Mick looks like a five year old going to East, uh, going to church on Easter <laughs> Sunday? <laughs> uh, it's a good color. Come on. It's not, it's not a bad color. Yeah. Yeah. All right, go ahead. He has Hello? different, you know, really? Yeah. Wait, no, hold on, hold on. I, I, I promise, I swear on my life, I'm not going to get into it. I actually don't even want to, and I have to go. Right. Do you really support that guy? That's normal? Yes or no? I do, but you're not going to give me a, re- okay, a chance to say why. a fucking problem. Well, really bad. Well, you that's so funny, and I the, feel the, the complete opposite. <laughs> but, you know, Annie, Annie's viewpoint is... criminals and crooks and liars and people... Oh, okay, like you okay, okay. Her that? voice, sorry, I can't listen to that. She, go, she goes on and just attacks her for uh, exposing her children to that. Like, Jesus it's insane. Christ. God. Well, get ready, because this guy's going to win again in November, so... Yeah. I don't know. What else, Justin? Uh, so I looked into it, and so Dale Arnold, the signing at Emerald Square Mall. Sale Arnold. Sale Arnold yeah. is on Saturday from noon to 1. So the I'm Big think- one-hour block. So I'm thinking we are going to have- You got a big day on Saturday. Oh, no, your thing's Friday. Dinner is Friday night for you guys. Yeah, yeah. Saturday is Dale. Saturday sale. is sale. Sale. Sale Saturday. Sale, yeah. <laughs> bring $15. Tough Steve from Gloucester one. What's that? I said you got to bring $15. $15 <laughs> cash. I would assume so. Yeah. You can hand over to Dale. Sale? I would assume so. Okay. Are you going to uh, do it? Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll have we'll have a meetup. Meet you going, Gus? That's your area. I, I said I'd do uh, my own table for 10 bucks. 10 bucks should do it. I'll sign, I'll <laughs> sign stuff for 10 bucks. <laughs> wow. Just stand okay. right across from them. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Good, good, good. I'll We're, accept Venmo, too. Good. <laughs> What's happening? The bros meeting up on Friday. I don't know yet. Show starts at nine, so probably like eight. 11. Yeah, so Coleman will be there at like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got to tell Coleman. Tell Coleman pre, 7.30. Pre-game, we'll bring some. Uh, this is at the movie theater, right? It's like at the, it's on the other yeah, side right. of the movie theater. <clears throat> they have like a thing there, right? Yep, Where, you can yeah. park, you can park there. Good. Okay. I saw the Ordway thing. He's gotten inducted. He is. They charge a hundred dollars for that event. Oh my God. I couldn't believe rip it. Off? I was like, what the hell? Who's I know, paying that? I was thinking that? like go too, but uh, I'll probably get comped. I just figured I was like, I, when I saw the link go out, I was like, they can't be more than 15 bucks. A hundred bucks to sit at that Well, a class this year too. I can't believe the people got like, pebbles <laughs> and uh, Glenn Ordway. <laughs> I don't, think, I don't think I'm ever getting in. What's I was going to ask, Will, do you think you'll ever no, get in? No, 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 no. You Those really people, don't think? The people who vote in me? No. I'm the last person who will get I, in. I, I, I'm, I think that'll happen. To the radio? Do you know, put some piece, it's, it's like idiots. Yeah, but like it's going to get to a point where it's kind of, I mean, you're the biggest radio guy from here ever. That's yeah, not the point, it's not, though. It's not like Philip Martin, Candy O'Terry. The only reason why Pebbles. he did the right is big is these people also did it for 40 years. Like, no, there's no there's zero chance. By the way, Jerry, for all my issues with Jerry, should be in. He okay. won't get in for political reasons. No okay. way. No chance. All right. You're voted the wrong way. Yeah. Is Howie in? I don't even know. He should be. <clears throat> but that was my takeaway. It was like, Glenn, they have a Massachusetts Radio Hall of Fame. Is that what it's called? MA Broadcasters Hall of Fame. My take was, it's, Glenn's not in it yet? Right. Like, what yeah. the yeah. fuck? Yeah. The biggest guy ever in the city. It's crazy, but no. I'm, it, Glenn's the kind of guy that means something to him, so I'm happy for him. I don't think Mutt's going to get in it either. I don't mm. think. Yeah, not looking we, good. Let's, let's what? lift up Mutt. Mutt he's I really worried about him. He's I, actually deserves worried. To get I did put a submission for Mutt this year in the broadcast. I think Mutt might get in the EBHOF, maybe. I, I don't want to know what that's Einstein stands. Bagels Hall of Fame. I think they have one in Chelmsford, <laughs> I believe still. Like, if you're a manager there long enough, he could probably get in. I could see that, maybe. The Home Depot? Yes. Yeah. I, I would think. I, I, what do I know? Who the do, hell knows? Do you think Mutt would rather have a job in this field 
making less money or being like the manager of somewhere? And oh, making, like, this field less money. See, like, 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 like 60 grand versus 100? Yes. Really? No question about it. He's committed. No I, I I respect that. Then. He should be committed. I agree with that. You'd, I'm sure you would make the same thing, though. Yeah, I, I, I just said I respect I it. I would, too. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, respect no, it. Yeah, yeah. No, I respect it, but yeah. What else, uh, Justin or Coleman? Or Mick? Uh, kind of similar to... Outrage. Did you see Dr. Phil on the view? He was breaking I down. I was yeah. outraged by it. Yeah. It's more of the. Yeah. I don't really want to do COVID. More of the video. Of Whoopi, Whoopi Gold, uh, yeah. Whoopi. She's crazy. I mean, yeah. it's so, so dumb. Like, it's so dumb. We were saying, to be fair, we were saying it then. We were not. The beginning, I was like, everyone figured it out. But once we figured it out, it was nuts. These kids were live. My kids were, for parts of three different school years, were either doing it. What, was, what were they Remote? called? Virtual Remote. learning? You know that, but it was like one week you would go, oh, one week uh, you'd stay uh, home. The hell was Hybrid? Name, but, yeah, hybrid. Yeah. yeah, thank you, Gus. We, they did that for one year, and I was like, "What the fuck are we fucking doing here?" Like, yeah. These kids, no kids, no kids died. Statistically, no kids died. Like whatever, I, I heard that, and they're saying, "No kids." You're saying, yeah. "No, no, of course, like yes, yeah, some yeah. kid." But statistically, the kid with asthma died, right? Or kids like Coleman, like chubby kids. Oh come die. on, you, you know, we have comorbidity like Coleman. They say Coleman, comorbidity Coleman. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think they can they call you that or not? Oh, no. well, I don't even know what you said. <laughs> Comorbidity is that what they called it? Comorbidity is that what if you have like, what it was? Yeah, yeah is that if you have? Isn't am I making up, Justin or no? I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm sure you don't. <laughs> hmm. Whatever the hell it was, I don't know. Fatso's I'm saying. <laughs> there you go. I'm trying to be nicer I mean, as I get older. I did see that. Comorbidity. Doctor Doctor Phil looks very weird, but that was my other yeah, take yeah, away. very his weird. face pulled back. I think He's some yeah, he had some work done because it's not even like the loss of weight thing. It's his eyes look like glossy. They're weird. 4tmedia.com yeah. hasn't updated their website since August 16th, 2023, according to... Uh, I sent it to you, too. Oh, you did? Yeah. How's the site? How are we looking here? You can, it's, it's a colorful website. <laughs> Complete bam booker. Let me see here. Where did, you, when did you send it to me, Justin? I sent it in the group between you, me, and Coleman. I don't have it. Resend it. I don't have it. No, you, you sent it in the the one with Julie. Oh, uh, oops. Oh, I got it. I'm sorry, Justin. <clears throat> Four T media. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus, Gus. <laughs> Gus, 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 Gus. At the, at the bottom, there's the weirdest sentence I've ever seen. Yeah, what is this? You have the book thing? Yeah. Got any book recommendations? Yeah, got any book recommendations. What is that? <laughs> well, why are you saying that? I don't know. I didn't even make the website. <laughs> Also, if you try clicking on get in touch, it does nothing. Well, I don't want them to get, no one, they don't want them to get in touch. I yeah, honestly don't, they don't, don't put a fucking Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why they don't. Yeah, they just want, they just want to give you $50,000. I do not want that. I, do not, I can't believe you, I clicked on this fucking thing. <laughs> so on this thing, you know, the thing on, the, what do you call it in the upper right with the URL? No, no, the, the dash is where you click on it, it shows you. Oh, yeah. menu. The menu. Menu. Drop menu. Click on that. Good blank screen. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> I'm not a website person. I never claim to be. I can only edit in WordPress on the back. Now, are they paying you in American money or is it like <laughs> yen or T cat? Have you got any money for sugar? No, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I, I just signed the stuff like uh, last week. Yeah, what day is it? Tuesday. Yeah, I just this would be like if I quit the show and someone's like, "Hey, Justin, what if you drink Mountain Dew and play GameCube all day? <laughs> we'll give you eighty thousand dollars to do." No, was that what you Justin did originally? Were you going to yeah, do gaming when you quit the show? Do. Last time you did, yeah. Yeah, but I, I got a real job. <laughs> you realized that wasn't going to work? Well, that there is the marketing side of it and the SEO side of it. So there is I, that. I, that I, I'm looking out yeah. for you. If somebody yeah, likes yeah, you. Like, are you do, like, I, yeah, I, I, you're like obviously disabled. <sighs> yeah. Right. So probably. I wonder if they're taking advantage of you, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> this kid needs to catch a break. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't, I don't Listen, know. I'm, I'm feeling confident. We're good. So you feel a week <laughs> from Friday, you're going to get a paycheck. Yes. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Can we talk to the person who hired you? Please. Mm, see if they're up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, we can. Well, yeah, I want, I want, I want, because I'm, I'm looking to protect you here. <laughs> it's uh, eleven o'clock. Right? West Coast hours. What's that? It's kind of late in Ethiopia right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're in the West Coast. Yeah, they are on the West Coast. Where? L. A. They're based out of L. A. The company itself is based out of L. A. <laughs> I'm just oh. telling you what I mean. I signed the document. <laughs> this is Groundhog Day all over again. Is what was that country that always emails you and says you win a billion Nigeria. dollars? Nigeria. It, no, 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 no. That's a Nigerian prince. I remember very early on with John and Jerry, and John was like, I'm getting these emails from this gentleman <laughs> in Nigeria. And he's, he's saying if I give him $100, I can make a billion dollars. I'm like, yeah, John, don't, don't click <laughs> on that. 
You have his number? You send him his number? No, he's not available. Are you texting him? Yeah. What do you mean he's not available? He's you got back meeting. to you that quick? Oh. He's I, in a meeting on the West Coast at 8 in the morning. Yes. The people you are meeting with today. No. The guy you meet with is Salem? No, no. The, the guy I'm meeting in Salem is a friend, like, is my buddy. But then you're going to meet more, more people, people for lunch. Yes. Are, they're not the ones who hired me who I interviewed. This with. is beginning to shape this like is, a pyramid. This is to getting me. a little I don't, easy. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Can we talk to somebody? Probably not right now. This is not like you. This is unlike you to be to this lie? defensive. To, but, no, but to be, def- like, to no, be defensive. No, because I'm trying. I, I, I'm I, not I, being defensive. I don't want you to lose your job. Yeah. What I'm, I'm saying is, I yes. as somebody who likes you. I understand. I don't want you to get scammed. I'm not getting scammed. You're getting scammed. Okay. Yeah, it is fine. Stop. <laughs> what was that? Just, yeah, it is fine. <laughs> it looks like a scam. Sounds like a scam. I mean, maybe not. Uh, maybe yeah. not. Maybe not. But I, this website doesn't give you. Did you have, have you ever seen this website? I did see no? the website. They gave you any concern? It did a little bit. Did you ask about that in your interview? I did. What and they, they said say? they're undergoing. <laughs> they're trying to revamp it. You did not ask that, Gus. But I always no no no. That's a, that's you a always ask. I will tell you. <laughs> that's a Gus. You did not ask Gus. Gus, yeah. Gus you did not Gus, say in the interview. I love Gus. Gus, Gus, here's the thing, Gus. I don't get mad at you anymore because you don't, it's fine. You're yeah. lying there, right? Mm-hmm. That's what you're asking. You you could do that. That doesn't matter to me. Oh. Oh. But you're, you're, here's the thing about Gus though is like he's the kind of guy he's eyeing me down if, like if, he's like if, yeah. I just lied don't, don't you miss that Coleman oh yeah if they pay if they don't pay Gus Gus would be like whatever and he just he just won't do it <laughs> like he doesn't get we're, we're more concerned about Justin than he is yes yeah. that's a great quality to have it is he's gonna live to be 140 yeah it, no way it's a no, good no, no, quality no, no. but also not a great quality I could take a thing or two from Gus just yeah, do, right I really a, could. A, a, a hybrid of you yeah, two would yeah, be perfect yeah I agree it would be kind of boring but it'd be perfect it'd be a perfect professional yeah, yes yeah. right be a normal okay. person yeah. is what it would be yeah. what's, what were you gonna say uh, Gus no I was gonna say be a normal person with normal bodily functions yeah. yes <laughs> yeah. who needs that for the most part is that a Crohn's <laughs> joke I think it, it is, is a little day, you know What's that? You're hearing this? You're hearing Am I not allowed to make fun of Crohn's either now? Colin's right. You're very sensitive. Okay. Yeah, Why no. you, you can't make fun of your illness? It's fine. To be I fair, made fun of my Colin stroke. was unhinged. Like that, we just kind of. I mean, passed you over you, that. you, you look care. less sickly than you did the last time you were here. Yeah, they pumped me up with some new medication. You try? You're taking new stuff. Yeah, hopefully it works. But it, it, they, do you get, really want to go to Cancun with that fucking bowel system of yours? <laughs> so. That's another thing. Yeah, you right. don't want to go to Cancun. I yeah, I, I, I I'm not I'm not some show pony here, but I I can I can make it look okay for. I, I, I can I can if I do a couple weeks in the gym, it'll look okay. No, I'm saying no. that you shit yourself all the time. You want to oh, go to Mexico? No, I can I can control that. We'll, we'll be all right. no. But no, I wouldn't be eating a lot. I went to Mexico and had a bad experience because the food wasn't great. Didn't you go to Mexico and break? Oh uh, no, who was that? Was that Will? You break up with his girlfriend on yeah, yeah. he was watching yeah. the Celtics or something. That's yep. right. Whatever happened on vacation? <clears throat> I saw him interact. Did you ever listen to the show? In your life? I just I mean the kid's on like once every blue moon. That's a good point. What's that? I saw him interact with a tweet recently, and that was the first I had seen him. Did you find him, Justin? He said he could be a good guy, like no, a show. I'm out if he's going. Oh, you don't like him? No. As a person? Yeah, just, you want to talk about being on? Okay, Mick. I don't know if you're deciding who gets to go to this. Yeah, so I'm the one who's buying the fucking show. Justin's tickets. night. Well, you got to pay him back, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, of course. You have to pay me back. Of course. Gus literally has no money. None. Hmm. You replied to a Don the Jeweler tweet recently. Oh, good. Well, it's, it's a good sign everything's okay. Does Mutt make any progress yesterday? Do we know uh, his purpose in life is now to make sure that that line in the track is okay? Do we have any update on that? Uh, what a yeah. purpose in life, Justin. Yeah, they, uh, they they changed it. I just picture his, his dad like reading and then emailing. I picture like, Great him. job, son. <laughs> I picture his dad telling his mom, I am very proud of my son, Michael. As, his parents as are the very nice world, people. As is the rest of the world. Well, Mutt's a great guy. Yes. You know, he's just not. We love you, Michael Mutnansky. The world's better without him. No. No 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 no, 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 I didn't say that right. I didn't say that right. That, that, that was, that came out incorrectly. That was bad. <laughs> he's not in the Yukon squad though. Yeah. That, 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 he's Jeff trying. and I are Yukon guys. That's and you know who's, and you know who's, uh, well, that's Yukon squad's loss. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there it's true. Is. I like that. They'll have to wear those black things on their jerseys next year when he's gone. No. Is Mutt the best person that you're friends with? As far as like an actual person? Because he seems like an actual good guy. Um... He's right up there, I would say. That sounds like a yes to me. Yeah. I, I mm. Mutt seems like a pretty decent guy. I think trustworthy. Yeah. Yes. Oh, for sure. Yeah. He sounds like a great father. As long as he's not driving. <laughs> hey, we all make mistakes. Oh, oh I his, didn't oh. see the car. <laughs> <laughs> Although it's an adventure when he takes the kids, which is kind of fun. <laughs> it's like, so, oh, dad, I think we're on the wrong side of Route 3. <laughs> Everybody drives on that side, that kind of thing, you know. It's the like we're at Six Flags. Yeah, like oh yeah, well, yeah, well if, the, if the cop if he chases, we go to the next state, then he can't <laughs> he can't pull us over anymore. That kind of thing, you know. 
Oh, is that a Chili's dad? Yeah, oh yeah, we're stopping there. That guy, <laughs> yeah, he's a good time. It's a good time. So you didn't get oh you didn't get a mic update? No. No. But it was yesterday, we think. We don't know. I believe so. Okay. She posted a nice white dress. Who did? Lauren Compton. Oh, she did? Yeah. You like her? She's fine. Yeah. Okay. She's not Meadow Soprano though. No. No, okay. I don't know what. Uh, Mick, you brought in a bag of things. Oh yeah. Oh god. Uh, he said like he said it was from me. Well, it's it's gifts it's for, for the guys, Justin for the, for the producers. Nice. Okay. I got something for the studio. I, it's not for you. You got enough stuff, but thanks, Mick. Yeah. I appreciate. Um, it. I don't want anything. Uh, would yeah. you Would you get them? Oh, uh, can we take calls today? Is uh, can we do that? <laughs> no. Okay. Why? I, I was going to parlay the gifts into that, but I'll, I'll get Why do you we'll, we'll, we'll walk I me through the it. Calls. I like the calls. Oh, you're going to have Al or someone call. No, I want to do beats. Well, so I would not do this. We'll you do guys beats. <laughs> well, what, 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 why are you parlaying? What do you mean? I just like the calls. It's simple. I, I'm a fan of the show and I like the calls. That's Kirk, it. If you, want, if you want gifts, no. you're doing calls. Yeah. Well, I'm not getting anything. Why would I do it? I want so, the so, potential callers to know that they eventually got fucked from having calls because Mick asked for calls. So just to get a gift, I should take calls? Give us a hint. Was it a good gift or no? I think so. Coleman mentioned that it's wine. He had some sheesh with the boys the other day. So I got him a beyond average wine tumbler. Oh, oh, oh yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you, though. And then I couldn't show Actually, up empty-handed. I know Justin's always around children. Uh, so no. I got him a Star Wars action figure. Oh, that's nice. Do you have Thank that, you. Justin, or no? Uh, I do not. I probably I thought Who he is would. It? I don't know. I don't know. Who I don't know anything Justin? about it. Justin doesn't really know. I don't know anything Justin about it. Justin doesn't really know the film, so it's fine. <laughs> Miltons.com, by the way, sponsoring this. Just a company trooper. Said, you're a basketball guy. Yes, I am. There you go. We got a basketball studio. Throw me a, throw me a pass. Throw me a nice chess pass. Oh, Mick. Let's put a, little, put, a little, put a little mustard on it. Yeah, I, got, I think I can handle it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I got you nice. the money ball. Yep. Isn't the money ball white? No. What ball's that one? It's like red, white, and blue. Yeah, it was. When Bird did it, it was. But yeah. I will take some calls. See? There you go. No. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to take it? I'll, I'll let you two decide. No. No? Justin said no. You don't want to take calls. If it's up to me. Okay. Colin? I'm good. Whatever you want. I'm good with calls. Yeah. Gus? It's your show. Jesus Christ. Mick? I, you already know where I, I want the calls. All right, we'll take some calls. We'll take a few calls. <clears throat> it's been a while. It's been a week or two, I think. They better be good, though. That's the other thing. I get, I get demands. I got some in the fan demands I'll be laying out on Thursday. So. Did you see the uh, yes. Oscars announced their the presentation, the presenters? What am I going to say that? I don't know. You you were talking about who who do you think is going to be? They don't give away the best picture presenter. It's a oh, surprise. Okay. Who's the weirdest person on the list? Jesus Christ. Do you know everybody on the list, Justin? No. I don't give me the names. Go ahead. I don't. Well, name them. One second. Well, why up. bring it up? Because I'm pulling it up. Jesus. Do we have a Milton's date yet? Bill said he can do whenever, so... Uh, okay, whenever. You guys keep saying this. I go, everybody's over. Start booking dates. All right. Yeah. Dates. <clears throat> Fucking Jesus Christ. So you get movies like the Gus or no? Uh, I just... Wa I watched a terrible movie yesterday on uh, Over Her Dead Body. Which one's that? It's with Paul Rudd. Oh, Blake it's an old Bell. one, right? Yeah, it's an old yeah. one. Terrible? Oh, it's bad. Hmm. <clears throat> That one I watched another bad one too. Unfinished business with Vince Vaughn and okay. uh, the younger Franco from. 15. Oh uh, yeah, not good. Watched Moneyball last night. You never seen it? No, I've seen it, but it's Mutt's favorite movie. Did it, you fall asleep? Go to sleep with it. I, I actually have kind of ruined it for me last night. Mutt did? No, the John oh. Henry scene. Terrible. I don't know why, but Terrible. when he says like the first guy through the wall is bloodied. Yeah, so, and I'm just like, why? John Henry would never say. Like, this he definitely would not. Yeah. Yes, I'm not a huge fan of that movie. With all respect to Mutt. See the big news out of Fenway? They're having real catch-up there this year. I did not see that, guys. No, wow, that is huge. They didn't have real catch-up last year? No, nah, it's Heinz this year, apparently. So this Should take care of all the problems when they're 14 should. and 28. You two have the number. I am doing that right now. That it's is a, a while. That is a, a big difference, though. <laughs> what is? Heinz over, like, some Maybe ass. Maybe a Fenway there. eating hot dogs? No. Who cares? What about these presenters? Oh, the presenters, Mahash, or... Mm -hmm. Mahershala Ali. You know that you would know oh, who that is. Yes, he, he is. has two Oscars. I believe he, he is playing. Uh, He's playing. Well, yep. maybe the movie keeps getting. Oh, sounds yeah. like it may not happen. Go ahead. Nicholas Cage. You know him. Friend of the show. Caller. Yep. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. You know her. I do. Mm -hmm. uh, Brendan Fraser. You know him. Jessica Lange. You know her. I do not. Okay. Uh, what is she in? 
Zero Dark Thirty? Is that her? <sighs> nope. Uh, Jessica Chastain. Oh. Jessica Lange is an older actress. You've seen her. Did you ever see Tootsie? No. Okay. Uh, the old King Kong? Old, old one? Like the... 70s? Black, black and white one? No, the one from the 70s? No. Like Jeff Bridges? No. Nope. Okay. I don't think you've ever seen her in anything. Go ahead. Matthew McConaughey? Him you know. He's great. Mm -hmm. Lupita... Yep, from the Young 12, Go? 12 Years a Slave. Yep, You would know her. She plays... Oh, she voices... um In Black Panther? No, yes, but she's also does the voice in Star Wars of the of the new the newest ones. Who's the one that like talks to Ray at the be about being a Jedi? Oh, the fucking the little in like the yeah. bar with yeah. the you know the scene where in the Force Awakens she touches and she sees all the yep, and yeah. then then she's like she's, the little girl with the glasses. The yes, yes. Like yes, she's blasting away. She, where, that's her, I believe. Where's my boyfriend? Yes, I believe that's her. Him. Yes, yeah. uh, Al Pacino. You know him. I do. Michelle. <laughs> no, come on, Michelle. Come on, Justin. P P Justin. P P P P Justin. No. Try again. Get let me go. Give it. Try. Really try it. P P P P Oh my god. <laughs> We're not leaving. New challenge. We're not leaving until he gets it exactly nope. right. P P P P P Coleman Popa lyric. Michelle. No, no, no. Let him do it. Let him do it. Let him do it. Pfeiffer? Nope. It's like a fay. Nope. That's close, though. You're really getting close. You get Michelle, you've got you've yeah. got that yeah. coal. <laughs> oh, fuck. God. You're halfway there, is, is Colleen's favorite band would say. Michelle. Did she ever start with Signory Weaver? Uh, uh, I just saw just something. Pop culture, right? How do you. Yeah, but uh, let, 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 uh, give a couple more chances. Michelle. Just think, Pfeiffer. think of like the Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting, you're, you're getting closer. Is it? Is the piece silent? It could be Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> nope. Nope. Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle, <laughs> Michelle Pfeiffer. Yes. Yes. yes! 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 Oh. <laughs> oh, that's great. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, you guys are know our best from uh, right from that song, from the Coolio song. It's right? yeah. the only reason I know it. Coolio yeah. song, isn't it? No, Eminem. I just know the lyric. Oh, Michelle I say, Pfeiffer. It's a Coolio. What? What? Oh. what lyric? Maybe well, I thought Coolio. There's a, there's a pop song. Best believe Michelle Pfeiffer. Train the Pied Piper. Oh, I was thinking Coolio did the Gangster's Paradise from um, the movie she was in. Oh. She's in the video with him. What, what, Gangster's what Paradise. But you're thinking of oh. yeah, thinking of Eminem, right? I'm thinking oh, of the like, Maroon Five song. Like, just, uh, was, was it was it Eminem? No? Yeah, uh, it was. Saint No Mashai. Michelle no, Pfeiffer. You're thinking of Kai Pfeiffer. Oh, is that what he says? Yes. yes. I always thought he said Michelle Pfeiffer, but with like a weird... Kai Pfeiffer's in the film. <laughs> ah, that makes sense. It's Am not... I right or no? Yeah, yes, you that are. That actually okay. makes a lot of sense. I'm an idiot. And the song I'm thinking of is Uptown Funk. It just took Okay, I was thinking of that she... It's actually... Coolio has a song, Gangster's Paradise. Is that what? Yeah. 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 Because Weird Al did uh, uh, Amish Paradise, yes, yeah, yeah. which Harry loves. But he... Uh, good to know. That's yeah. Michelle Pfeiffer's in the video with him. Yeah. Like good to As know. Yeah. You gotta watch out for this guy. No, I'm saying like good to know that's yeah. holding up. At least you can read, Justin. Like <laughs> I liked Amish Paradise as a kid. I liked that the young kids are still bumping it. I liked Amish Paradise as a kid. Ugh. You did? Yeah. Weird Al's great. Yeah, Weird Al's awesome. Dangerous liaisons. Yep. One. Fabulous Baker Boys in Love Field. You don't know who she is if you look at her. No idea. What a, what would she be? Grease two, Scarface. Yeah, I mean, you saw Scarface, right? No, not really. She's Tony's sister? She's in the, um, she's in fucking the Ant-Man movies. That's right, yeah. Wait, who, who is she in Scarface? Why can't... She's the girl. She's, she's the chance girl. She, yeah, she's, the, she's in the Ant-Man movies. Yeah, but they're always wearing a mask. No, they're not. <laughs> she's, she's in the movies without the mask. That's not true. I don't know. Well, congratulations on her presenting best cinematography or whatever she's going to be doing. Yeah. I Am Sam, that's a movie. That's true, yeah. Should be in that. Yeah. Okay, then Ki Hu Kwan. Yep, he just won the Academy Award. Is he uh Are they load up Coleman? Uh yes. Is he short uh, round? Yes. 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 Sam Rockwell. Yep, you know him. Maybe. No. no. Michelle Yeo. Okay. We'll allow it. And Zendaya. You like you like her. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. No, she's not she's fine. She's, she's not no fine. Sydney. Mm, I, I, I'm, I'm, they're much younger than me, but I would. Be, but I was younger, I'd be more attracted to Zendaya. Like she's like cool, laid back. She doesn't really care. 
No, she's just like Sydney Sweeney. Just you know, you could find a million Sydney Sweeneys. Yeah. You can't find a Zendaya. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well said. Mid capital capital and mid population. Oh. <laughs> I don't what? know about that. I'm just saying. Facts. No, she's I'm sure she's a lovely woman. I'm sure she's but, gorgeous. She, she's she's watching this right now. Shut yeah. up, Kirk. Yeah. <laughs> you choose her over me. To fuck? To, no, uh, to have no, a no, to go to go to war with. <laughs> if Sydney Sydney somehow fu- got into a war with you, I would choose you. Thank you. Isn't she like a superhero though? No. Barely. Barely. Just oh, you mean like an official? She knows how to do CPR. You said take, war. Take some calls, Jesus Christ. I just, I just watch. I'd watch them. Who fight. would you save? Sydney Sweeney or Taylor Swift? Uh Taylor Swift. Okay. Taylor Swift's got like a little autistic in her. <laughs> Are you attracted to that? She's just like a strange girl. All right. No, let's take some calls. Jesus Christ. Kirk, this is your president, Donald J. Trump. How are we doing, my friend? Wow. Wow. Big first call. You happy now, Mick? Yes. Kirk, speaking of a little autistic, I have to talk to you about Justin. (laughs) He's an incredible man. Mm -hmm. He's an incredible man. I I have not spoken to you since you hired him back. Did you know we were old friends? We used to hang out together at a little island called... Little St. James Island. <laughs> <laughs> is that true, Justin? Uh, Donald Trump was never on Little St. James Island. Okay, okay. Yeah. Go neither, neither was I. Thank you, Justin. You know, I'm starting to like him. I do like him, Kirk. He's <laughs> yeah. so good, but he yeah. likes him young. That I could say. That is true, Just sir. The same thing. And my condolences, Justin. I know you lost a dear friend, Jeff Epstein. I know <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. He's still grieving. Very close. But, Kirk, you know, I'm... Dealing with so many things, so many terrible things, but we're doing great. I had to call to talk about one person. You know what we call him? We call him Crybaby Mick. He's a little crybaby. <laughs> yeah, he he's, he, he's, he's a little a sensitive, tiny, sir. Yeah. He's a tiny little baby. He is. Kirk, I know that whenever I read a DM to Big Cat, I start quivering my voice, but <laughs> it's not good. I have to tell you, he's such a tiny baby. <laughs> His tummy hurts, Kirk. It's a tiny tummy with a tiny brain. It's <laughs> He's a dummy. Just he, like a baby. It's not true. good, Mick. Mick, what are you doing? It's so bad. I, I, I got to figure it out, sir. I don't know. I, I, I got to figure it out. Good comeback, Mick. You're really, really doing it. Really That's doing it. why he's getting the show one day, sir. <laughs> Those kind of things. One of the quick minds, Kirk. But, <laughs> oh, you know, I have amazing. to go. I have to deal with so many lost there things, but... We have to talk about the fat gay man. We call him Capable Coleman. <laughs> not good, Kirk. No, it's not going so well, So bad, sir. he's so gay. He is very and gay, he's sir. he's so fat. Coleman, you're fat. Why do you eat? And you love cock. It's so bad. But, <laughs> Kirk, I've got one more stage line for you. But sure. He's like a cheap motel. He's only got two stories because he's the most unprepared person in the world. It's so bad. He's so fat and gay. We love you, China Wall, Kirk. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> there you go. <sighs> there you go. Always good to hear from the president. It is. It's been a while. Yeah. He's you know, running for re-election. Are you voting for him, Gus? I'm voting for Kennedy. Okay. Yeah. No, I mean, listen, I vote for Libertarian. I mean, I, so no, who, I, am I, who am I to say? I, I, the reasoning is I just moved to Massachusetts, my first presidential election. Mm-hmm. I have to do the most Massachusetts thing possible, vote a Kennedy. <laughs> so it's I just their it. last name? Yep. <sighs> so if it was like former major league pitcher Ian Kennedy, you'd vote for him. Yes. The DJ Kennedy from MTV. Yes. It's good logic. Okay, you don't care about the politics. I mean, at this point, my vote's going to Biden, so it doesn't matter. I mean, Massachusetts. <clears throat> yeah, he's going to Massachusetts by a million votes. So, yeah, more than that. Right. So I can say I voted for a Kennedy. Okay. I never have. I've hmm. never voted. Why not? Didn't really... Uh, everybody's going to say, uh, you don't know what you're saying here. I've never seen the point. Just... Have you thought, like, before you say something, you, no, don't, have, you don't have to be like, everyone's going to say this. <laughs> no, it's, it's not how he thinks. <laughs> Usually when you tell someone you don't vote, they say, Mick, oh, you, that's Mick, terrible. You'll get t- maybe one tweet about that. I'm not, not, every, not I'm everybody's going to say anything about this. I'm not telling anything. you it's keeping me up at night. I'm just telling well, you. You just most, said everyone's going to say also, everything. Most Nobody's of the time say, when you tell someone you don't vote, they go, oh, that's not good. You, now you people are going to think it's keeping you up at night. You should at least vote in, like, the town elections because that actually changes that. I agree with you on a day to day. I agree. He's not paying attention. Yeah, that's the thing. That's true. Dummy. I mean, nothing. Yeah, he's not. Yeah. If you don't, my brother Ryan never votes. He's I think we have guy. a lot of similarities. Who? Me and your brother Ryan. Just based off Wish the way I you describe you. him. Like, what else? Like, yeah, he's the distant one from the family and kind of the, I don't know, the way you describe him, you said that no, he's, he's... No, he's not. Oh, I thought you said that. No. I thought you said that he doesn't, doesn't have like a real job and you make fun of him. He doesn't have a real job. Yeah, but it's it, sounds like you're, it sounds like you talk to him like my brother talks to me. That's what I'm I think you're that. definitely not projecting that. Oh, okay, continue. Sorry. <laughs> you're a madman. All right. And you don't go to therapy. No, I should. You should. Really def- should. I mean, in a way you do. This is your therapy. It kind of is. 
But you should definitely go to therapy. I'm not even saying that for better. Well, you should go talk to somebody. Probably. I, 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 it'll do them a lot worse than it'll help me. Nope. That's, <laughs> that's so, not, don't worry about that. I think they're going to say, is, here's the door. They, I, they, they will they, take your they, money and they will listen to you and okay. they will get to the no, core I, of your insecurities, which is like everybody else about your mom or your dad. No, I don't think so. I know you don't think, I, I know, I know you don't. Okay. I know you don't. I know okay. you don't. Okay. How's Ron doing? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Your brother's good. He's in the military. He's yeah, all right. He got married secretly. Oh, he did? Yeah, he, he got married. Like, my parents flew down, and that was it. It was just like... You weren't invited. No. <laughs> okay. You don't get he, along with him? No. I, well, he... Yeah. He's the one I really don't get along with. Oh, okay. We, we, we tolerate each other now. Do you like his wife? Yeah, his wife's great. Oh, good. Nice. Well, congratulations. How right. did you find out? Like, how did, how did the news get broken to you? My mom sent us a picture saying your brother got married, and we said, congratulations. We found out... Like, I found out... Now, this is a study, guys, in two human beings. Gus doesn't care. Think of how upset Mick would be if he wasn't invited to Mick something like that. Oh, what? I'm not important enough to be there? You what? would lose the your crazy yeah, fucking, Are you kidding it's me? fucking nuts to want to invite your brother's wedding. I know. That's well, crazy. Saying, you guys I, are... I, this no, place is crazy. Nobody's saying... Again, nobody's no, saying... No one's, you, said, no one's saying that. What I'm saying is it's a study in two people's reactions, yeah, correct? Yes. Would you react like that? I would be mad if my brother didn't invite So him. I'm right. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Right, right. Jesus Christ. Hello. Hey, how we doing, Kirky? Good oh, to be fine. back. Thank you. I got a question for Coleman about his vixen grandmother. It's, it's been killing me the past couple of weeks. I need some answers. Go ahead. Uh, Coleman, you said that she got shipped over here from uh, Portugal. Is it because she slept with another... Uh, I heard you do this bit on Mike and the Minifans, so yeah. Oh, did he really? Oh, jeez. They're gone. See you later. Jeez, I can't do recycle Mike and the Minifan bits. What was, the, what was the bit? I didn't hear it. Basically, he was saying like she was sleeping with another, like a, the husband of another woman, basically, and that's why she got pregnant and had to be shipped over here or whatever, which, uh, to be fair, could be true. It's possible. It's possible. I don't know the full story, but okay. yeah, could yeah. be true. Yeah. All right. Hello. Hello. Hey, Kirk. Yes. You have Mick. You have Mick and Andrew Augustus in studio today, and somehow Coleman is still the most unlikable. Yeah, it's true. It's not an easy. It's not an easy to... skill. Yeah. But Coleman, look, look, look at face on Coleman. Real. You are not. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what a <laughs> baby! Bullshit. Why are you such a baby? No, what are you? Because pop? this guy's been holding in this fucking bullshit. It, well, he doesn't it, like it, you. of a call. He doesn't like you. Weeks. We haven't had any good calls. We haven't. We haven't taken calls. And this is what this guy comes in with. What a fucking pathetic loser. He doesn't loser. like you. <laughs> pathetic ass loser. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong I with like you? This. I like what this. Is this is great. going on with everybody this today? Is great. What do you? Are you gonna cry? What does this guy want? No, I'm not gonna fucking cry. <laughs> you, Justin, am I wrong? What's Coleman, going on? You want some weed to calm down? <laughs> Jesus, what is, I your, love this. What is your issue? Call her. Don't go anywhere. What's bullshit? What do you want? What do you want? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, you're you're by far the worst on the mic well, producer well, well, that Kirk well, well, ever ever ha ever had. Yeah, you uh -huh. nuked your own Twitter account. I didn't Justin fucking. Uh, that's true, oh, that's here true, we go. Here we go with the fucking Twitter. This is where I knew you were gonna come in with. Yeah, I'm lying. I I you had to start a baby. Baby. No, shut the fuck oh up, you pathetic God. excuse of a human being. <laughs> Some real stuff going on here, oh, Justin. Oh yeah, I'm so pathetic. Yeah, you're a fucking cunt. You're bag. crying. <laughs> Fuck you. Keep crying, what is Coleman. What's wrong with you? Keep crying. <laughs> what the fuck? I, was I was itching for someone to go real. out, you know? Jesus Christ. All right, see you, buddy. God. J Justin, what do you think? That that cunt bag. I haven't heard that tone <laughs> that, of voice. That was a real... You know, he's mad. That, yes. I'm, you guys have a relationship. You know that guy. I don't, but it's like I knew that's what he, he was going to play the hits. He was going <laughs> to... I, I, I gonna was, go into that was raw emotion. Going to go into was, a Twitter call and uh, yeah. That was someone that. who has had enough. Is what I, that sounded like. It sounded like I've had enough of this bullshit. Yeah, I'm, I'm done with I this crap. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Jesus, He's putting his foot down. Yeah. I have a Coleman song. No, oh, let's play it. Probably complimentary, I would guess. Yeah, I would think. Now, did you hear <laughs> must Coleman? Must be. Must be. You heard it yet or no? No, I haven't. Okay. I have a Justin one, but the guy's re-recording it, which I think is a good idea. Okay, good. It's uh, it's like the Taylor's version. <laughs> is it ten minutes? I can't believe that Coleman still has a job <laughs> Seems like a new issue every other day First this peak shit, then collapsing streams Not to mention he is very gay Kirk thought Coleman was the best choice for the job. Yeah, I know he's always right. 
but maybe not this time. All right, not one of the classics. Is Justin? No? They don't all hit. They don't all hit. It's all right. I appreciate the effort, though. Same and guy. we all agree with the message. Same guy from yesterday. Yeah, it's great yeah. when songs don't rhyme. Everyone loves that. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. When did he get so sensitive? Where's the Cullinane? God. Damn it, combined. Oh, nothing. Cullinane, we need to play. People will play that back later. Cullinane was on. Yeah, he sounded like a mad. You, you heard yourself talking to this guy. You think you're any different? Yeah, but yeah. Hello. Fair. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm sure there's Montante Clemens. Good morning, thing. Kirk. So Montante Recently texted me and retired. said, "One second, buddy. One second. Peter King. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. don't don't do this to Jeff. He's be very excited. Yes. Oh, go, 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 uh, Justin. Hold on, Peter. Uh, Mike Montante said, "I'm not aware of anything." Because I said, "What is your beef with Clemens?" He said, "I'm not aware of anything. The only thing I can think of is he was very annoyed when I tweeted out last year about him not setting his lineups the last month or so of the season no, once okay. he was out of it. No, so, okay. so that's why he's using that as the reason you left to get out. Yeah. Go ahead, Peter. I'm sorry." Well, Kirk, I'm really enjoying retirement. I started today, and I think I agree with something you said yesterday, that Greg Hill will beat Freddie Tucker in the ratings at one point this year. Okay. Fred, Fred has very nicely morphed into Eddie Andelman, where uh, I know a little something about everything. Uh, He's not the original Peter King caller, right? I don't think so. I don't know who that is. All right, goodbye. Yeah, what are you going to do? Hello. So I mean, like, why even take these? Hello. So, so fucking Mick can give gifts yeah. to these guys. I, well, we had the president call and that was great. Yeah, that's true. Hello. Kurt, back in December in Dedham, Dedham police in custody took a guy in and he died in police custody. And there was never any follow up autopsy, never released by the police. Mm -hmm. Nobody has looked into it. Have you heard anything at all about this? I don't think I've ever heard of the story. I'll be honest with you. Have you guys? No. No. Oh. I thought this was a joke. Yeah, tell what's what's this? What's the guy's name? I don't know his name, but it, he's it nuts or something. Was in the news. It happened day of, and then it was on December, and was in police custody. They tased him. They maced him. They said he died, and okay. that was it. Hmm. Never reported beyond that. Oh, I'll take a look. Is it the stabbing guy? Yeah, it looks like it, this guy allegedly stabbed two relatives, and then. Well, he was handcuffed, tasered, and died. Interesting. Okay, thank you, buddy. Boy, Mick, I'll tell you. One or two more calling. They don't pick up. We're calling it a day. Good call, Mick, as always. Uh, it stinks. This Mick show is going to be in trouble in 2027. Uh, hello. 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 Hi. Hi. Hi, it's a Grandma Sue. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Sue. <laughs> wow. How are you? Grandma hello, Grandma. Hi. Is, is, is my grandson there? Is Jack there? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Erico, Justin? I think so. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. See you later, Grandma. So. <laughs> was that right? Yeah. That was a ducky call. That was a ducky call. Yeah, I thought so. It's not far off on you, the you, accent. You can was get it? those pretty quick. I mean, where, where he's from is a highly Portuguese area. He's got that down pat. That's a good point. Hello. Coleman is the worst producer that has ever been <laughs> oh, part of this oh, show. Oh, the oh. sensitivity is unbelievable. <laughs> um, is it the ticket guy or no? No. Oh, okay. Sorry, take the guy. Uh, so, uh, yeah, good. Go continue. I just, why is he immune from criticism? He speaks up on topics he knows nothing about. He thinks Makai Pfeiffer is Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> Someone fair. can't call it and criticize him. He's an idiot. Go ahead, Coleman. You want to defend yourself? I don't know. I'm the one that gets all the shade for being called gay, and this guy sounds like he has a fucking dick in his mouth. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right, Jesus Coleman. Jesus Christ. What's wrong with you? Sounds like a prepared thing. You could have said to anyone. <laughs> Didn't sound like he had a dick in his mouth Can't to me. Can't take a joke. Can't take criticism. Well, well, it's the well, Coleman well, show. Well, well, well. Jesus. So you fucking sound like Lucy. Jesus Christ. Everybody's pissed off today. I am feel fine. I'm in a good mood. Yeah. I'm, I'm fine. Yeah. 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 Jesus. One or two. We, we may just take all Coleman haters one day. <laughs> Full day the whole show, maybe. Give them the Steve Robinson trip. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hey, love the show. Uh, before uh, I get to my point, just want to say it's uh, nice of you to have Crockett on the show today. <laughs> he does look like a Miami <laughs> Vice look right now. It's a good point. Uh, yeah, I, I can't believe he doesn't wear socks to a meeting. I, I love Mech. I'm just saying. I hate you. I was shocked by it. He's defending you, Mick. Oh, He's just saying, yeah. That, everyone hates everyone today. That's yeah, really, jeez, um, God. Except Mutt. We all love Mutt. That's not true. <laughs> Go ahead. That's true. Uh, Kirk, I was have a podcast recommendation. Not sure if you've heard of it, but there's a new podcast out called Finding Matt Drudge. It's really quite good. Finding like Matt Drudge. I'm looking at it right now. I could use a podcast. Yep. 
Was it oh, okay? Yeah, I'll you know, I'm a, I'll subscribe right now. Just did. Bam. Awesome. Thanks, Kirk. Go. Thanks, buddy. One more call. They better pick up. But it is. I mean, unlike Mick, this guy, this guy, Matt Trudge seems like they deliver. They say they're going to put a podcast up. They put a podcast. That's up. right. <laughs> I love him. I fucking love him. When's the next episode going to be? Tonight. tonight. Uh, 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 mm-hmm. it'll, it'll drop tomorrow, but we're recording it? tonight, yes. Well, yeah. Yep, yep. Who's going to be on? Christian. Beyond Average Christian. <laughs> Man of many talents. Yes, there you go. Fresh off the queue. A lot of uh, basement combos lately. Really? Yeah. Sports stuff. I gotta see this basement. Um, no, no, it was actually, he was asking yesterday, yesterday he asked, do you like anything at all after you were saying me didn't like shane gillis and he's like does he like anything no and i was like probably not no I don't think no so. not yeah. really i will shane gillis fans are similar to men of fans he, we're very defense they're yes, very yeah, defensive yes. we're very defensive. Said we're, yeah well men of fans. you don't oh, think men of fans are defensive of you oh they meant shane gillis i thought you were saying we're your shane gillis fan oh shane gillis is fine he's a funny guy yeah sure i don't i, like, I don't he thinks you hate all comedians i, people, I do hate all i was comedians. like he kind of does yeah no, but I'm, I'm not gonna like say i don't I'm, shane gillis i'm sure is very funny yeah i just don't I see the. I get the jokes now. The jokes are all like I get. It. I've heard every version of every joke. I think yeah. at this point, I don't know what's left to say? Yeah, he was just. I don't know. He was wondering. And then no, the answer is no, Christian. I don't like <laughs> it, including you. you what else? We're good with calls. Come, they stink today. Oh, we don't well, have any more. Last so. person just dropped. Yeah, out, people so. are just not. Yeah, it's just not happening. Uh, the calls was, stink right now. I said no. He was You're right. stunned by the Jeff D. Lowe thing too. Again, we don't have to go into that, but that he's abu- Jeff Lowe he's abusing you, Jeffrey Lowe. We should call him, but he's abusing you. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. How do you mean? He's a, how many meals do you get to pay for him without him? Oh, it's just you. You were against me on that at one point. No, no. Yes, you were. Yes, yes you, you were. You were. Oh, God, no. I I was against you, <laughs> Jeff. Jeff, so Jeff Freelo, I like that's that. That's a great one. You said you said that you <laughs> you were like I I have no problem splitting the bill, and then I was like I you don't seem like that person. You just don't seem like the person that's. I'm not regurgitating this, but we. No, yeah, I don't. I don't. I, but I was right about that. Yeah. You, you were, you were proven right, and now I'm just, I'm looking at Jeff. Like, I don't know how he looked. Do you cut his pizza too? Like, it's crazy. No, I have to. You have to. Yeah, yes, I have to cut his pizza for him. It's true. I have to feed him. I don't. Know. <laughs> Jeff Freelo. Ah, <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ! All right, this year, introduce yourself to the best with Tommy John Super Soft Underwear, Lounge Room Pajamas, Tommy John's breathable, lightweight, and moisture wicking fabrics are designed to make you feel that much more comfortable so you can do everything better. Uh, their tri-blend uh, fabrics stretch four times more than competing brands, and Tommy John moves 16 different ways. Give you plenty of breathing room. Comfort, comfort, comfort. Shop Tommy John and get 20% off your first order right now at tommyjohn.com slash K-I-R-K. Save 20 to 0% for a limited time at tommyjohn.com slash Kirk. tommyjohn.com slash K-I-R-K. See site for details. Tell you what, if we come back Friday, I'll just give you guys time to prepare. We'll take calls on Friday if we're doing a show. So you have a couple of days, be good. You have a couple of days. If you stink, we're not going to take calls for like six months. We're about 50% there, I thought, today. No. no. Def- what? No. We have one, one. Trump. The guy we with Coleman. Coleman screaming at him and Trump. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, everybody, that's yeah. what everybody thinks about Coleman. But you can make Coleman do that now very easily. Yeah, he's very like. triggered right now. It's very, it seems like it's very easy to do. So that was- true or false? You're feeling the false. heat now. False. 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 The thing is, Lie detector. Though, yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, shut the fuck up. It's <laughs> amazing how that sound doesn't drop right there, right? Coleman is on the way out. No. Yeah, I don't believe that. Slightest. Rumors. Uh, Manor, I think Manners on to something. Uh, Rumors. Yeah. Manor, Manners, Manners has nothing better to do. Uh, it doesn't mean he's not right. <laughs> he, I have no idea what sources. I don't talk to anyone. Good sources. About I was he's got his ear to the ground. He texted me that you he hear that too, Maker? No. I, when, he, when they were asking if Coleman quit, I got a text saying, do you know anything about this? And I... From who, Montante? I'm not gonna, not gonna tell you who it was. Yeah. Safe guess. Yep. Yeah. But uh, I, I just said I would, he wouldn't do that like that. He no, would, uh, he wouldn't. Well, he'd do it on the show. Coleman. He'd do yeah, it on the yeah, show. that's that is true. He knows how it works. I think Justin said that too. Like the idea that Coleman would send me a text and I would yeah. just be like, oh, I'm not gonna you tweet would this be out. Like, yeah, we'll talk about it on <laughs> we'll catch up next week yeah. and bring it <laughs> yeah. up. Exactly. Yes, no. but I think he's. L- I'm hearing stuff from people in New York. He's looking. Oh my really? god! Really? I've not talked. I've not talked to a person in New York. Is okay. it like a, uh, he's trying to have a meeting? I don't think that's true. Is he throwing feelers out there? Shouldn't you be talking to people in New York and ready for the um name show? Well, I mean, I got my sources. I got ears to the ground there. But. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. People are saying mm-hmm. he, if offered, he would jump. Really? Yes. Nope. Honestly. Which is fine. I'm not, I don't, I, don't I, I think the New York ship is. is would, you, would you feel like poached for that? Would you, would you put a stop to that? I feel thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I drive there myself. Are you crazy? <laughs> God, I find a private plane to get in my <laughs> you mind. Better, I can get Mutt to drive me. <laughs> hey, it would be, be great use of Mutt's skills. <laughs> anyway, I could uh, see Mutt as a good chauffeur. 
He can't get a job. He's a DUI. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, he's a, <laughs> but like, but like the conversation he would have. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. He would, he would yes. be like, he would, he's, he would be. If it wasn't for the DUIs, or yeah. well, DUI is plural, like deer, right? He has six. Yeah. Is it a couple? Yeah. He have six. Six. <laughs> Six. That is an over. Sometimes on the show we over exaggerate. With right, that is we not love. an example of one. That's no. true. With people we love, like mm-hmm. Michael Mutnansky. Yeah, two this year already. Twenty twenty four. All right, so we're back Thursday with Montante is going to be here, and Mike's going to be back, right? Yes. All right, good, good. Any you guys want to promote Beyond Average, Mick? No, nah, just the uh, podcast tonight, tomorrow, whatever. It'll be okay. Up. March twentieth, gambling with Gus. March twentieth, gambling with Gus. Gaming, not gambling. I can't gamble. I'm, yeah. not a, I'm not a good gambler. Okay, so gaming with Gus. Gaming with Gus. March 20th. And f- where do we find that? Twitch.tv slash gaming with Gus. Oh, you are, it's already taken. Well, right? we're, we're going to nab it right now. Oh. I hope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How was that? How was that? <laughs> if not, then I just rebrand my, my personal one. So. And l- what time is a late lunch today? It's already 1130. Going yeah, to go. it's going to be like 330. Is that lunch? An early dinner, Gus. Late lunch, yeah. 330? And then I'll, when I go home, and then I'll have dinner at like 8, 9. Is it bowling tonight? Yeah, it's bowling night. So when are you going to have dinner? What time is bowling? I'm, I'm not going this week. Oh, oh you already we, do your thing? We should take you bowling. That's what we should do. Who should? Uh, we, you know, for, take him out bowling for a stream. I think that'd be great. For what? For Gus, for like a live stream. There's someone <laughs> trying to bowl a 300 on Barstool. Yeah. That I, doesn't seem possible to me. It is. If See, 30 now guys? We're, now we're 30, talking. If, if, you, if you bring in ringers. Well, yeah, sure. Like, are you a ringer? No, not in 10 pins. It also depends on what you're doing. If if you said to get a 300 and duck pin. I imagine Chicago will be the yeah, traditional. Yeah, it would be 10 pins. Yes. So it is definitely possible to do. If you oh, with ringers. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Not with a normal, not with like the guys. Yeah. It'd no. Be, uh, to get 10 in a row. I mean, a 13 in a row is the, no, not 12 in with a row. With random guys at Barstool? I don't think they're going to do bowl no, 300. That's how you have to do it. That's 12 in a row with 10 pin. Well, they're gonna, they'll do yeah. it like they did the free throw shooting. They'll bring in more guys. guys. Do it. Yeah. I would imagine. It, that can get done. Like the harder one would have been like finding like a candle pin or a duck pin and trying to get a 300 in that. That would be near impossible. Okay. Well, anything else from you guys before we get out of here? I have a video idea for tomorrow. Okay. For, the, uh, for some content on the day off. Okay. You're doing that. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, we'll look forward to that. So, we'll Coleman, see. anything from you? I figured I'd you, you know, use the uh, the vlog camera. It's kind of dusty. Is that operational Ooh, still at this wow. point? No? Whoa. Wow. That was a shot. That was a wow. shot across the bow right there. There used to be a vlog on the show? Ooh. What are you talking about? Well, what are you talking Awkward about? Awkward silence here. I mean, what, what are you talking about? Oh, Col- when Coleman did that vlog when he first started, then he was trying hard. That's yeah, right. like there was oh. this thing like, where he would bring the camera that. in here, talk to people That's before. That's right. I forgot I about that. I was going to get you guys after today. There was a bit of a dip the past couple of weeks. We I didn't for- have stuff going around. Yeah, for- well, that's kind of when, spo- when you're supposed to do it. Well, who am I talking to? Just that's create that's something. All right. That's- I guess so. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oof, Justin, that's a that's a that that's was, an absolute that was shot. A shot. <laughs> absolute shot. You know what that was? That was the bottom of the notebook. Don't forget to say this. That's Definitely. And then just try to do the thing like, oh, we're actually buddies though. Yeah, Coleman. I'm just remember that. Around. Come on. If, if Coleman leaves, it's not automatically yours, Mick. I okay, think no, we, we should make, be clear thank about you. that. <laughs> if Coleman <laughs> if Coleman leaves, don't, we're not doing this. It's your job. Yeah, <laughs> it is. No, I'm taking that job in four years. Well, you get a warm up over there. Okay, fine. Then you go right there. Yeah. And then Coleman can produce for Mick. Perfect. Does he get paid though? No. no, no, no! Don't be crazy. Are you okay with that? Can we get that? Yes, that is oh, we, that's how statement. we have to have it. That's how it has to be. Right? I want Coleman to work for you. No, no, no! With partnership, me and Coleman. What is that face for, Coleman? I, I don't know. He was quick to say I was the only one in the room that he wouldn't want a part of the show in 2020. That's yeah. true. He's not sensitive though. No, neither. Are oh you. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, we're back Thursday.